just now. Thank you for coming from the beginning. Usual series of tests. And oh, Lou, you're here, Christian. Hello. I can see your name when I go and check that the stream is working. Okay. Uh, yesterday was a good one, eh? wasn't it? With so many people, it's always a good fun. On Sunday and the weekend in general, it's easier. But even alone, I think we can have fun. But perhaps someone will join, I don't know. In any case, I'm going to test uh, the new Italian rank 3 plane that I unlocked the other day. The one that I originally encountered when I started to stream some times ago. And well, it was uh, quite a shock the first time I met this plane in combat. Speaking about the Savoia Marchetti 91, I think, or 92, uh, I was... Hey, Kurt, hello. Of course you can, of course. You must. Uh, we will have fun together. Uh, I wanted to fly Italian rank 3. I hope that's good to you. Well, we'll find an Axis tier, uh, an Axis battle where you can join. But you can join any, I mean, one that you will enjoy. Uh, remote? No, I need uh, Discord switch speaker. I no longer switch it off, to tell you the truth. But just to be ready. Then I'll start Discord already, too. And let's do it. I hear no sound, strangely, but probably now the music starts later. So, going to the usual place. So, on, off. Yeah, I can switch off the audio, should the need arise. Here's the audio. Okay, Kurt, let's form the squad already. I'll be waiting for you. Getting ready. Let's see what I get. Mm, nothing of great value. I must use these things. They're, I'm stockpiling them. Okay, coronavirus and all, but the boosters have to be used. Uh, look how many. I have credits, experience booster. What the heck? No, also the experience one is good because I'm going to stock grind the plane basically. And I'm speaking about this beast here. Okay, I only flew it very briefly. The Savoia Marchetti 91. This is a prototype plane. I think only one was made and uh, only flown in test uh, situations until uh, the Germans got it, captured the plane and then put it into service briefly, but it was by the end of the war, it didn't do much basically. I was flying it the other day and was very surprised, the day that I had the problems with, uh, with the stream, no? that I only streamed on the Twitch. And I went online and tried briefly what this thing could do, it was a quite good surprise, because you would think something this size to be unwieldy, but actually no, it's a very maneuverable plane. It flies almost like the Lightning, and it accelerates very fast, and it's got this uh, supposedly very powerful rear turret. Uh, when I met it in combat originally, during the first days I was streaming, it took me completely by surprise. It's actually very dangerous to approach. Then when I went and tried it on Twitch, uh, what happened was that uh, SM92 is bad, only SM91 is good. Ah, okay, then what do I have? <laughs> Excuse me, this is the N N91. I guess this is the reason I couldn't use it well then. Well, well, I'm gonna need to grind it nonetheless if I want the following one. You see how it's uh, maneuverable. And about the turret, yeah, doesn't shoot. Ah, okay, it shoots with it. Well, it seems high caliber, I don't know, man. You're telling me it's not good then. Well, let's test it together. You're coming online, right? Let me see if you're online. Let's see if the cars joined already. Trim it just a bit. Ah, but it goes into pause. Right, we're just testing the plane right now. Let me see if Kurt is here. Not yet, it seems. Okay, well, eventually you might join in progress. Huh? The gunner is 20 millimeters. Ah, it looks like caliber, yeah. Only problem is that I used to have the controls uh, here on the throttle to also maneuver the plane. Now I rebound them. So basically I have to use the turret with the left hand and also yes, some other change I made to the control means I no longer can shoot with the um, the button of the mouse, which is just wrong, it must. So rebinding and I guess saving the controls again. I would suggest you to spade it, it will be lighter, like P38 once you spade it. Uh, excuse me, what does, he, what does he mean? Spade the plane? Uh, like uh, spade. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean, Kurt. Tell me, tell me. Sounds interesting. Okay. So it was worth testing. The arc is not too bad, is it? Well, it doesn't shoot. No, it even shoots below. Look at this. Look at this. 
the only annoying thing is that I have the, the trackpad on the right side, so yeah, I gotta use it like that. Spain means upgrade it. Ah, okay, yeah, 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 I will. I will, I will. And forward facing armaments, what is it? I'm returning to the main menu in any case, we're starting a battle already. Cart will join in progress, I guess. Let me see. Modifications. This has by default uh, 20 mm target, 20 mm cannons. How many? Uh, two, 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 two. Six, six 20 mm MG 151. Well, it doesn't sound bad. Can carry bombs. It's a ground attack plane, isn't it? I think. Huh? Yeah. The 91. So you're telling me the 92 is good, huh? Uh, we take a while to grind it. Ah, this one is completely different. It's got the cockpit on the side. Look at it. Completely different beast. This is like uh, the Twin Lightning, except that it only has one cockpit. Okay, well, let's go with the 91 for the time being. Simulator battle. Which will put me in Sims. No, this is an operation. Enduring Confrontation CCD. No, 3.3. .3. Ah, well. It's everything is a moot point because apparently there's no open match that I can join. What the fuck? <laughs> eh, there isn't. <laughs> Not for the first battle in any case, Kurt. What the hell? What about Japan? 2.3? What about USA? Well, I could fly the lightning at this point. I could go with 5.0 5 on USA then, I guess. That was my second choice. You see, you see, you never must be too certain you're going to play some. This one's good. CCD 5.0 with plenty of players. You never have to be... Ah, you have to wait. Okay. You're loading. Let me see. Let me see. Where are you? I don't see you. You're not online, Kurt. I cannot wait. I'm streaming. We we might restart on a different match if you cannot join, but I bet you can join, man. I bet you can. I have 15 viewers uh, card to try to understand, sorry. Cannot keep them waiting. I will be playing and inviting you as soon as you see you online. Otherwise, we can exit and go to a different match. At least I'll be doing so. In any case, I wanted to fly the, uh, the Italian plane, so later we're going to switch, I guess. Uh, if I'm going uh, USA rank 4, I'll start with the... I should start with the Mustang. What nation? Okay, I'll tell you. Just a second. I'll tell you what, I'll go with the Lightning since it's the team of the stream. To infuse the Jackers. Oh, again with the shit visibility. We have uh, USA and Great Britain. Inviting. Copy. What PR? 5.0. I'm inviting you. I'm inviting. I'm not inviting you because I don't see you online. Are you online? It's loading now. Okay. I think I can send you the invite in advance. In any case, I did. So, yeah, indeed. Twin Fuse Ledge. Well, a lightning is good too. No? Yes, it's starting now in the hangar. Hang I cannot hear you very well. It seems you're speaking very softly today, but I'll try to understand the better of my capabilities. You can join in any you case. Can join in any the teams are even. <laughs> when we're chatting, I hear my own voice better than yours. <laughs> At least I know what they say. I'm in hangar now. Invite me. I did. Uh, you didn't receive it. I'll invite you again. Wait, wait. Hey, Nix is here. Nix is uh, inviting cart. Invite to say. If you cannot join, I'll land and we go to another match. Huh? Nix is here telling us hello without an H. Hello. <laughs> Even. How's it going, Nix? Everything well? I For suppose. For some reason, I can't suppose. join your squadron because you're in map. I cannot. You cannot join? Why is that? Because you're in the map already. I'm in the map and you cannot join because I'm in the map. What does it mean? You shouldn't have problems. The teams are. Even. It's because you're in the uh, in the game already. No, you cannot join the squad, but you can join the game. You wanted to join the squad? 
I'm joining the game now. Okay. Perfect. Peter T8, yeah, Nix. In fact, I wanted to go with this Hawaii Marchetti. That was the idea, but there was no open match for it. Usual luck. I wanted to go with the new SM91 that they unlocked. I tested it briefly uh, in the training and then said, now I'm going to join a match. And there was none open, what the fuck. Also, yeah, I spawned on the wrong F. It might even be my fault. I was looking <laughs> at a different thing, was thinking at the unforeseen. This is 5.0, Nix, by the way. I invited him, I invited him. Ah, I think so. Ah, maybe he's right. Uh, Kart, you expected me to invite to the squad. No, actually, I invited you to the match. Okay, and you're in game now. Perfect, perfect. We solved it, Nix. Everything good. I already see him in match. I am here. It seems the, the bad weather has been a running thing with this week's soft stream. You loved it. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy it as well, I guess. It's surprisingly nimble. I tried it briefly the other day and again this morning. It's a very maneuverable plane for what it is. And uh, the rear facing turret, yeah, 20 mm, that's, that's going to kick us. Unfortunately, there was no open match. What the fuck is this? Best defender, I guess. Yeah. <coughs> the fuck? <laughs> no, it's allergy, it's allergy, don't worry, guys. <laughs> Nothing bad. Yet. At least. <laughs> this is cart calling location. Okay. I'm here. Moving toward suspect enemy shades. With the 5.0 lightning, I hope it will be enough. The weapon is certainly will. We are against... Uh, just Germany, okay. Typical. Confrontation. <laughs> My target gunner was shitty. Same problem as me, man. Uh, the other day, no, when I had the problem with Facebook Live, I went online on Twitch and tried briefly the plane. And when a fighter got behind me, I thought for sure my gunner will destroy it. And I kept maneuvering the plane so the gunner could shoot him. And yes, he did absolutely nothing and I died. <laughs> Mine wasn't properly at zero, but very low. In any case, not enough. Not enough. And then what I did was uh, actually go and fetch the mouse and put it close to my location. I had some room here on top of the printer, which I intended to use for maneuvering the turret myself. But then uh, uh, basically I gave up because no one was watching me on Twitch. And after a while, James came. No, it wasn't James. I played with, I played with Evo that day. We went with the Swedish biplanes, which proved surprisingly good. Uh, have you flown the, the Swedish biplanes, Nix? They're pretty good. They are not that pretty airborne. They are not, excuse me? They are not free right now. It will be free. Uh, the biplanes you can fly. The biplanes you can. Not above this. I flew them with Evo. It was a good session. We had fun. The Swedish uh, biplanes are stable. Surprisingly accurate weapon, not very fast. This was our impression, more or less. Actually, we didn't know that we wouldn't be able to unlock the further planes. It was a bad surprise to us. <laughs> well, the biplane is a gladiator, that's why. Ah, it's a gladiator, but it had a canopy. My biplane had a canopy. I never had one with a canopy, actually. Gladiator has canopies. Ah, okay, I see. It's because I've never played the British. Okay, Nix, see you later then. You later, uh, then. Let's regroup, please. Let's regroup. Okay, I'm here. Okay, cloud altitude, and you probably will be as well. Someone crashed without help from the enemy. No, I think you're low. Is that you down there? Yes. XP55. XP55, wow. That's a uh, low BR plane for this rank, or isn't it? Yes, 3.0. Wow. Takes courage to fly it at this rank. Of course, I know you got the skills to do it. Show me something cool, man. I know you will. Okay. Wanna see a Pugachev's Cobra then? <laughs> With that, uh, you can do it. Uh, show me. Yes. No uh, crash into me though, huh? No crash into me. Even, <laughs> even without the Draken, you can do Pocket Chips Cobra and White Thunder, but only in X355 and J7W1. Okay, Pocket Chips Cobra means you go steeply upward. 
yeah like uh, you go vertically no and then start the plane and go back uh, pointing forward something like it yes okay um are you behind me now yes i'm a bit farther wait a sec i'll get closer okay go show me show me yeah okay are hey, you climbing this is not yet the Pukachev. Like this. I'm too fast. You're too fast for the. Eh, it didn't look like a Pukachev, not properly. <laughs> you want me to slow down? Tell me, eh? We might be in enemy territory now, though. Perhaps we should worry about that. <laughs> Yes, I'm too fast. Okay, okay, no mind. No, no, never, never mind, we can do it later, I guess. I have two contacts. Uh, ah, yes, but that's also the direction of the enemy base. In front of us, below. I wouldn't go there yet. Okay, there's also a couple of contacts by the lake. I guess uh, 2 or 3 o'clock. Eh? Also low. Let's see what they are. I think these are worth checking out. Okay, this is very fast moving. Diving for it right now, let me see. Huh? Okay, it's an enemy. Fighter. I hit it a bit. Broke the tail, basically. And he might already be going down, but I best to another salvo come on yeah the first hit was enough yay did they get the kill i didn't right no no i did i did yesterday went like that didn't see it in the kill feed and in the end didn't get the kill i think there was another one huh? watch out where is the base Oh shit, the base is close. But what was yesterday the sniper base that hit us from so far? I hated it. There's a plane coming, watch out. Under my left wing. You're, you're in combat, right? Okay. This guy is climbing. I gotta chase... Shit, the, the anti-air is firing. We gotta go away from here. Get out of here as soon as possible. I'm meeting uh, that cat you I'm trying to escape because... I see the base firing, I don't like it at all. Somebody cover me. You're in combat, right? See if you can move a bit a bit to the east, uh, it's a very bad position. Climbing, 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 okay, I see you. I think you can outturn most of them. Okay, you're smoking. And you have an enemy in tow, okay, I'll try to help. Here he is. Turning after the guy, unfortunately with the lightning I'm a bit unwieldy. Move after me. Okay, I'm chasing the guy that was on you. I think I hit it just a bit but not much. The lightning has long range with its weaponry, right? And accuracy as well. I no longer know where the base is and I don't like it, but what can you do? on your left okay you're going okay. left on. i'm going to the base okay i killed this guy let me see the base yeah i gotta turn very steeply fly low go the way yeah oh i did the pugachebs you did it uh? in the moment of need you did good good you gotta repair i think or was you just doing acrobatic smoke with this visibility i can see the color <laughs> I see two shells moving, huh? You might have the some... The speed needed is 285. Okay. Good, good, good. I think I see you below me. Oh, 
When I see the Puga chips now. Okay, I'm turning to you, wait. Uh, I think I see you below. That should be you, possibly. Yes, it looks triangular shaped. Wait for me to get closer. I'll put myself behind you. I'm going to our friendly territory, so all right. This visibility sucks so much, I'm not even now 100% sure I'm actually behind you. Yeah, it's you, it's you. Okay, wait, if I go lower, I'd see it better. Okay, do it now. Yeah. Okay. Perfectly executed. I can sort of follow, but certainly not straighten the plane at the speed. Because I didn't stall it. I wonder if I can do it in the Sukhov line of uh, DCS, the modern jets. In theory, they should be able of doing it. Yes, it 27 can. Right. Uh, I think I'll play that game this afternoon. The servers should populate in the afternoon. It's a cool game to play from time to time. From time to time, because it tends to be a bit boring, but it's enjoyable. There's a contact flying low and very fast, left to right from where we're going. Yeah. To what I know, Speed fire. One can also do Excuse me? To what I know, MiG-21 can also do it. The 21? Ah. 21 is not the ground attacker, is it? I don't remember the number. I don't think the ground attacker would be able of doing it. The frog foot. They're turning the into... The the ah, no, the 21. Okay, it's the older one. Okay, okay. I think I got the idea of which it is. It's a very Russian thing, no? After all, it's named after a Russian pilot. Yeah, I've forgotten uh, how agile, surprisingly agile, the lightning is. Not completely inept at low altitude dog fighting. For how it looks, you got it. Good kill. Good kill. Ah, I got the assist even better. Nice. I still see shots. This plane can handle up tears. I can see it, yeah, indeed. can do, in practice, it's efficient at three different tiers, if you can play it here. Yeah, you can bring it at 2.3, 3.7, 5.0, oh, you can, you can bully everyone. It's a very worthy buy, I guess. And yet you don't see many of them. They don't see me as well, because my camo is dark. Look how it turns. Destroy the enemy attackers in C3. That wouldn't be bad for my plane. I can easily intercept ground attackers. I think we could head to the lake, maybe. There's also a contact there. Ah, and to the left are the attackers, okay. Enemy incoming. Where from? Where from? Direction of the enemy? I only hear the sound. Okay. I'm turning here, trying to spot or hear them. Okay. I think he's on your six. I think he's on your six. Watch out. I think that's you, yeah. It's very easy to tell the shape of your plane, so I know he's in behind. I'm diving for you too. It's very close. It's a small thing, it looks smaller than you. 
Okay, he's climbing, climbing steeply. That will put him in danger with my sure. position. He's diving for you again. No, unfortunately, you both turned. And now I'm trying to get into alignment. Might not be the easiest thing. And I think you, you're you down. Okay. But I still see the guy. Let's see if I can avenge you. This saga. What's he flying? What's this thing? Huh? By the sound of it, uh, I did some damage. But now it's a turn fight. I don't know if I can win. Don't stall me here. Shit. Okay. Ah, uh, he's a turning me. Surprise. Shit. Okay. He dead. <laughs> he stole and died. So yeah, he was standing very tightly, but maybe a bit too much. <laughs> okay. What a strange combat. Still, if it went well, it went well. I will resupply at this time. It's not like I'm so low on ammo, but I guess so we can also go together. <coughs> wait, wait. I see a potential enemy over there. Basically, I'm flying the lightning like he shouldn't be flying. Low altitude. Sorry, FK. Okay. Oh, I died. Yeah. I'm spawning again. Okay. I was thinking of going to resupply. Where are you right now? Okay. The base is under attack. Uh, watch out. I'm tracking something though. Uh, above the button. In fact, uh, I still got 60 rounds of cannon. I think it's worth you intercepting this thing. Or at least trying to. I'm not turning away from the bases in any case. Why do I hear a sound? There's nothing from the right. Whatever it is, it's fast, and also moving away and away. Cover the bombers, cover, destroy the convoy. Too bad I forgot about the ground attacks. These were also a good target, potentially. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll overfly the battle and then maybe go resupply. Also, surveillance aircraft, no, between, too far away. You can easily tell this is the ground battle, look at the tracers. Hmm, what about that? It's the guy I've been tracking since before, let me see if we have... No, no ground ba targets are damaged, because it could have been an enemy bomb. Let me guess. Can be anything. Flying low altitude over there. He seems to be heading for the ground troops. Uh, it could be either friend or foe. Let me see. Okay, probably an enemy. Let me get into line. Shit, visibility doesn't help. Okay, standing into me. 
I'm in combat right here. He's turning into me but not doing it well. Also there's another big plane coming. What is this? This is an enemy bomber I think. No, Lancaster is so friendly. Uh, this one uh, can win. Let me see the location of the base. Not far. I might have to escape. He turns better. Yeah, I got escape. Base is not far. It in three altitude. The famous Mustang method should work with the lightning as well, I hope. Three altitude. Uh, apparently it doesn't. <laughs> but it's a sturdy plane. I might get to the base. Who knows? <laughs> Look at you. Maximum speed. Eh, why you feel so close? Shit. Shit, okay, someone's attacking. Good, good, cover! <laughs> eh, nobody kill me. He will probably possibly die as well. In fact, he died like one second later. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, at this point, it's uh, it's the time to, to go with this. The bear cut. Let's do some tough fighting. I didn't even take off from the base that is already under attack. I don't care. Let's scramble. Back at time. The stove plane. No, it's got a radiator at least, though. Huh? If I had my bear cut, I would have won there. Also, I hope. Also, I hope. Uh, now that they erased the non linearity of the controls, I think this plane is more usable. It's also another plane that stalls easily, that uh, spins easily. Ah, we have an enemy squadron here air 40 three players from it so in tight communication might make things a bit harder base is under attack but i don't know from where It's a light maneuverable plane and also fairly heavily armed. This has got what? Oh, I have little fuel, only 30 minutes. That well, should be enough. I guess we will be having a lot of dogfights with these people in the other team, so actually to go low fuel is not wrong. And yeah, you see, uh, it's a bit nervous as a plane. The moment you point downward with the nose, it tends to spin for some reason. And of course it overheats, it runs even normally above 200 degrees. And basically you're supposed to go 100% only in combat, it's like the Regiane in that respect. And in the beginning I broke the engine like 3 or 4 times, because if you're flying low altitude it's even worse. You gotta conserve uh, a temperature and always check always. and double check. Excuse me, yeah? I'm back again. Ah, okay, okay. I am here, tracking some targets. I was saying we have an enemy squadron, Air 40, you know them? Possibly. They are strong pilots. Okay, there's three of them. I think I fought the Chubby Chuckster before, I seem to remember he was killed indeed. Chubby Chuckster, <laughs> I remember the name, it's funny. Okay, above the ground battle there is much movement, potential enemies abound. Flying the Bearcat now. It's in theory my highest rated American plane, still haven't used it much, but it seems uh, great potential. Okay, you're taking off. I'm here to the southwest and there's one, two, three, four targets, five, six targets here. Some will be an enemy. Turning into one, it's already an enemy. Looks like a BF. Unfortunately at the moment it's faster and I don't know what I have behind, which is not a good thing. It's an hell of an unstable plane. Look how it behaves. It will make the dogfight a bit harder. And I might already have hit him a bit. He's doing the S maneuver. 
Ok, turning into him. This guy is good, this guy is good. I don't really like the looks of this dogfight, but let's keep... Ok, it seems I have reinforcements. Killer Zebra got it. You kill Steeler! <laughs> ok, what? What? There's plenty. There's a Black Widow here. A lot of people fly the Black Widow up 5.0. I thought it wasn't viable, but actually it's very viable, it seems. It's because it's respawn in 5.0. Ah, also, yeah, here you are. Okay. Choppy Chucks just killed two Wellingtons. Where would it be? Let me check the objective. Ah, cover the bomber scene. Oh shit, someone's attacking me. I already killed him. Ah, okay, good. Ah, so the sound was him dying. <laughs> he damaged my landing gear. Only that. Thank you, man. Absolutely didn't see it. I was looking at the map because I wanted to protect the bombers. F5 would be to the left. Okay, these two shapes are very suspect. I'm leaking oil, actually. Yeah, I love to land. I thought only the landing gear was damaged. And this will be a problem because I don't have a landing gear. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I'll bring you back on. Okay. Okay, I will. Luckily, the base is close. I hope I can barely land this. Try to be 200. Okay, 200. I'll slow down already. And also, once you reach. Uh, 180 put down your landing flaps and use it as landing gear ah okay okay so basically go very slow that's the name of the game i will also fire my guns to slow down it might look silly but it kinda works also slide it Slide uh, like uh, how? Don't touch the ground. Let the plane touch the ground. Okay, sounds good. <coughs> I will attempt it. Let the landing flaps do the work. Just table the plane. 380 now. Fortunately, I cannot even see the, <laughs> the landing strip with the shitty visibility. Also because of the graphics engine of the game, that kinda sucks. It should be to my left, but it looks like it's to my right. What the fuck? Ah, I think it's in front. Okay, here yeah, it is. Now I can see it. 206, yeah, I'll start to lower my flaps. 264, 61, okay, slowing down now. I hope I don't stall. 240. 200. Okay, don't slow down too much. To below 200, I'm worried. Okay. We're almost there. Should work, to tell you the truth. I'll shoot. Slow down. Yeah, boom. Propeller is broken. Crash. What the fuck? It was perfect. It was perfect. What the heck? <laughs> it was perfect. No, no, it's actually me. repairing. It's repairing. Two minutes for repair. Okay, no, two minutes for repair. I can wait. But it's still no, dead. It it's it's still not dead. worth it. No, it's not Give. worth it. I'm it's dead. Not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah, you're dead already. It's not worth it. You can just spawn again. What a stupid thing. It was perfect. Okay. Hey, but wait. No, no, don't leave yet. Because um, I left. your plane is <laughs> not pre spawn Oh, oh god. <laughs> I left. Uh, yeah, I cannot respond it now. Well, okay, it's the same. I guess I'll go, you know what, I'll go with the Corsair. F4, for, for U, for B, the one with the strong guns. To battle. But I gotta fly high. This time I'll be careful about it. And rolling. Yeah, you are.
What's happening up there? To our left, there's a plane on fire. Yeah. There's combat above this outfit. Let's see if he was a friend or foe. It appear in my kill field. I spiral climb, this looks uh, dangerous. Ah, there's someone else taking off with us. Okay. Gonna reach uh, around 3000, I guess, with this course. Uh. And is the base still flashing? Yeah, it seems we have enemies here. Possibly that shape. Two contacts down low. That's not anti anti air firing, no. Binaire Supremacy in B5. Ah, okay. Starting to head for B5 then. It's also by our base, so good. Look at how I keep up with him. Uh, you can, very easy it seems, you're much lighter. During the climb for sure you can. And it's supposed to not go wet with this plane, right, until I need it, because it's limited, I w remember it well. No. It's not, uh, I can do it whenever I want. Okay. Yes. Good. Well, temperature notwithstanding. No, no, but you climb much better actually. Look at that. Did the plane ever enter service or was it just a prototype? Just a prototype, I think. It's a prototype. It would have a different name otherwise, yeah. It's the uh, XP 55 Ascender. This game doesn't have the flying pancake, right? It does before, I think, in a uh, April Pulse, maybe. Ah, well, why then? It was an actual plane. They had the uh, production uh, model in here. Yeah. Well, if Gaijin will put that, who will fly it, man? I think it would be cool. By the what I read, uh, in theory, it had good performance. It just came out too late uh, to be worthy of entering production. If I saw the flying pancake in game, I'll close my eyes when I shoot it. <laughs> you like it too much? <laughs> Makes you angry, maybe. It's I'll close my eyes because um, I'll check if it will <laughs> it it will eat all my guns. <laughs> it will. It's because it's flat. If it turns, it's ah. easy to kill. Ah. Okay, so I that's why it. it's a challenge. <laughs> If I'm going to shoot it, I'll close my eyes. <laughs> More challenging. Let okay. my guns do the work. <laughs> it's very flat as a plan. It wasn't that small. Eh? The production model that they built... Uh, but they didn't really test it thoroughly. The test was made with a smaller model that was made of wood uh, and, uh, well, light materials. Then they had these... Uh, I think they built two actual prototypes of the final production plane. Should have been fairly heavily armed, and that was only briefly tested, but never really flown. And they did sort uh, short hops with it. I have a couple of contacts down low. I might dive for them deep into the guys. One is smoking. Look at that. I will close my eyes as well when I shoot with this, trusting in the big spread of it. Okay, it's a friend in danger. Unfortunately, I miss. Ah, uh, right, the flaps of this break easily. I forgot about it. Yeah, the course of flap breaks easily. I already broke the flaps. Okay. <laughs> definitely flaps. Use the landing gears. In place of the flaps? Huh? Yes. I don't want to break. I don't want, I don't want to break the... <laughs> to break the landing gear as well, though. No, it won't break. Ah, at any speed? Huh? Like, what's the maximum speed? 
the Ben Android. For the landing gear? It's amazing. You killed it's, it. Uh, you killed it. It's a secret. Forrester is then uh, airborne. Okay then, I might try this. Not having much luck with my belly landings today, but <laughs> I'll try it nonetheless. I always break the flaps with this. They're very fragile. Okay. You yeah. don't need it. You don't. Okay. You only need it when landing. And I hope I didn't need the didn't need them proper because I no longer have them <laughs> for landing. I got rid of the extra weight, I guess. Something smoking down low. Yeah, this is a potential other enemy there. Can't see shit with this visibility. I hear it, but... Ah, possibly the, the light is also shining on the canopy. It's terrible. Okay, this is you. But there was something smoking. Ah, yes, you're attacking an enemy. I will join you soon. Or attempt to. It's already parachuting, right? Yeah, I see a parachute. Okay, good kill. Good kill indeed. Hey Romulus, hi, bonjour to you as well. USA today, yes. We're flying USA rank 5. We have the Corsa. And my friend here is flying the XP-55, the famous triangular experimental plane, pusher prop. We are flying with Kurt, the leader of the Shiz squadron. I don't know if you know him, but he's extremely skilled. Hi Nix, welcome back. I wanted to fly Italian, to tell you the truth, rumors, but there was no open match, and so we went with it. Me too, I want to fly SM91 squad with you, buddy, but there's no map, sir. It's going to end soon, eh, this match. We might make another attempt after this. He had a strong beginning with the lightning, then uh, didn't kill uh, again, but might change. Let's see what happens. Let's go to Alpha. Ah, there's another one up. Okay. Following, following. Free the hell out of the enemy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're fighting for freedom today. <laughs> Let's free them all. I was saying earlier that maybe this afternoon I'll fly the F-16 in DCS, if you care for it, Romulus. I want to fly DCS again, but in the afternoon, when the servers will be more populated. In the morning I tried it once or twice, they're always empty. Okay, I see tracers to one, to our 11 o'clock. Huh? It's the... Uh, base how it says. They're base defenders, aren't they? How it says. Okay. And you're even faster than me on a straight line with the Corsair, with that thing. It's an amazing Yeah, I plan. told you. What are you going on? I won. I won drag races in this plane. <laughs> with my squadron. It's a very cool plan. It's one of the ones attempt to the most, to tell you. If I were to buy a premium plane, that one is very attractive. Yeah, but there's a requirement to buy it. What requirement? Level 75, base crew. Wow. Or if you are not, if your crew is not level 75, you will sleep. I see. Romulus is telling me, I can't wait for more Vietnam era aircraft like the F-105. Uh, they're constantly adding new stuff, no? Now there's a entire sta nation and also a new Japanese jet coming out with the new update. But when is the new update hitting, by the way? Should be soon by now. It might be Tuesday. Ah, Tuesday. You can't wait to tell you the truth. I think I'll start a new grind on the Swedish nation. It seems interesting. I like the high rank plans from the nation. I can't wait to bully Cobra fanboys in sim. 
<laughs> you expect them to be not very good. Romulus is telling me today. Could it be even true that maybe we could get the update today? No, I don't think so. Well, they, they posted the trailer on their page. It's possible, I guess. Yes, once they release a trailer, expect. I'm very expectant at the moment. I'm going to land for fuel, please. Ah, okay. okay. I have 32 minutes, I can still fly. And I see something flying low. I'm actually on intercepts on course. Let's see if I can find me a good target. Cover me. I hope you're right, Romulus. I would certainly enjoy to get the update of today. I hope they make some improvements to VR. I've been constantly hoping for it in the last like five or six updates, but it seems they don't care much for it. It wouldn't need much, basically. It would need that zoom function. It takes uh, really, what, an hour of work to add it, maybe even less. And people have been asking for it forever. But unfortunately, yeah, VR players don't have much of a voice in the PC gaming space. Shit, I can almost lose the target by how dark it is. But it's a B25. Nah, what the fuck? Okay, I even deviated from the <laughs> objective just to chase this guy and he was a B25. I guess I'll be heading back for the objective now. Where most of the action is, by the way. Viking Fury, yeah, I think that's the subtitle of the update. Seems quite appropriate, the considering the notion of the new plans. The Are they adding also tanks and ships from Sweden? Already? The tanks they would want to. Sweden has some pretty cool tanks, especially in the post-war era. I have them in World of Tanks, the ones that are flat, no? that have the modular suspension that lets them raise the butt in practice to aim downward. They're very interesting tanks. We have the same score now. Exact same? Yeah. Ah, in terms of kills, so yeah. Good, yeah. good. Just end that. End that. But you got disconnected though, otherwise you wouldn't have died so much already. I killed the ace two times now, the Kahek Demon. The ace is Kahek Demon, I think he killed me. He might be one of the guys that killed me. Yeah, I killed him two times. <laughs> How are you speaking and Miami in chat? And the other one is Kenza. Kenza? Kenza is online. Ah, no, Ken Z. Um, no, Ken Z. Okay, I'm coming to the enemy zone. There's plenty here. Unfortunately, they're already captured. This won't last long. I might as well uh, get into it and maybe hope for another kill. Let's see what happens. It's a bit too many plants, actually, to do it in a safe manner, but... Let me try. Ah, yeah, I'm trying to lower the flaps, but the flaps are gone. I guess I might as well lower the gear. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no, but if I lower the gear, I lose a lot of maneuverability, actually. It doesn't help. Ah, it yeah. does help. I, I don't know. Maybe I blacked out at the same time. I guess it's possible. I guess it's possible. I was doing a very steep turn. Because uh, the moment I lowered the it, moment uh, I lost... That's how we turn tight. In uh, Corsair, don't use it like um, you will leave your landing gear down. Use it as on and that, and that, and that. Okay, but I'm that. There were too many, really. I, I wasn't careless. I was looking for trouble here. Stupidly went. What grid? Into it. What grid? What grid? Calling before I hit the ground. This is the place. Go punish them. They're adding more German and English ships, Romulus tells me. Ah, cool. Cool, cool. I enjoy the prospect. Probably I should have gone for that kind of thing that I was doing. I should have had the courts. Uh, not the courts, I mean uh, the haircut. With the haircut, sometimes you can prevail in that kind of situation. But yeah, the courts doesn't turn well enough. Uh, why doesn't it let me click? What is this? A new bug. Okay. Hmm. I'll spawn in the general area with the Hellcat. Let's see if I can rejoin combat before it ends. 
Also, yeah, radar could be yeah, useful. I see the six enemy, six planes in dogfight. Okay, no, no, I know. I f I was in the thick of it. Unfortunately, very carelessly got killed. Uh, no, Ramos, I don't get DC anymore. Uh, honestly, with the flying games, I, I never did. As long as they run well, uh, you're all good. Uh, the problem is uh, when you have bad performance, yeah, you can get uh, nausea from VR. But if you run smoothly, and as you can see by my diagnostic, this is one of the smoothest running games, actually, so no problems there. Sturmovic can be a bit uh, tiresome to play after a while. This one, not as much. Okay, it's over. Yeah, Nix, I saw your Horizon score uh, on the Facebook wall. I saw it just while uh, I was starting to stream. That's very, very good, man. That's a difficult plan to use well, the marquee. I unlock something for the car, sir. The wings repair. Okay, I'm getting out. Let's see if we can find uh, a match for Italy. Buying the wings repair. And I guess right, I'll man. be researching. Engine injection. Or this... Engine injection or the G-suit first? Of course, sir. Engine injection first. Okay. Research. And then it would be Italian rank 3 in practice to fly the SM-91. 3.7. I'll invite you to the squad. Uh, let me see what we are. Uh... 3.3, uh, unfortunately, 2.3, uh, what the shit, no, there's none, since we keep being unlucky. Mm. Doesn't want us to have fun. Okay, what then? Still Axis? I mean, still Allies or Axis? What would you prefer? Let's go, Japs, 2.3. Jets 2.3? Sounds good to me. Okay, I like it. Sicily? Okay, there's one. Uh, there's one with not many players, but it just started, right? No, actually, one hour and a half and half empty. What the fuck? <laughs> this sucks. 3.7 Jap. There's a Jeng Zhao. This is better. 3.7 Jap with 7 versus 5 players. As old as the other, okay. as old as the other, as the other match. Okay. As the other match. 3.7, okay. okay. Jump. Okay. You only keep two planes in your lineup for this. Take part. Don't take off yet. Don't take off? Huh? We take off together, you mean? Okay. Yeah. You want to choose the, look at, uh, the base? Look at my skin. Ah, you want to show me your skin. Okay. I guess I'll start with the Zero Model 22, I like this thing. Okay, uh, you're loading, huh? you tell me when you're ready and where to spawn. I will go at field 4, to tell you the truth. Close to the ground battle. Let's try the bombers in D5, yeah, it's at field 4. Then I'll go from Beta 4 and wait for you on the ground. By starting the engine. Ah, this is a leopard skin. Wow, on the key 61. You really like that plane, huh? The key 61. The key 61. No way. The key 61 is the here. Ah, Trustmaster. <laughs> you got a sponsor. <laughs> you got a sponsor on your plane. But you it's actually. Uh, special. It, it's a spree. It's a pre skin. You can get from uh, White Thunder Pro. It's pretty cool looking. Well, the sponsor uh, ruins it a bit. It's not very historical with that thing written on the side, but it's still pretty cool. I also have another one. It's only, ice. only problem is that yeah. you have. Uh, um, yeah. Uh huh. Only problem is that you have a Logitech joystick, and now you got a Thrustmaster skin. That's not uh, a match. Uh, not a proper match <laughs> of elements. <laughs> It's fine. I'm I'm only using this for the skin. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you're a sympathizer of the enemy. I got some Nvidia decal in my lineup of decals. I don't know why or how I got it, but it's just the Nvidia logo. It sucks. <laughs> There's no reason to put it on the plane. If it came with a cool skill, I would use it. 
It's a cool skin. I guess if you want free advertisement for me, at least uh, make the skin cool. Don't give me just the logo. <laughs> I'm not going to put a graphic card logo on a World War II plane. It sucks as a concept. But a cool leopard skin, okay. Also, it matches your decal pretty well. The one uh, that you always use. Rick Toftang decal. What are you doing? Slam rolling just because. So you're flying the P61. I. Ah, uh, it's the I version. Wait, Otsu. The Otsu is the one we mix the uh, cannons and machine guns. Am I wrong? Just machine guns to a 50 caliber. The one you always fly in 2.3. I gotta try it. The 2.31. Ah, okay, so it's lower rated it's actually. Lower rated. You, you already did. It's 3.3. 3.3. I have it, yeah, no, no, I think I have it, in fact, no, I wasn't saying I wanted it, I, so I was saying maybe I could try, it's not an historic, not an historic uh, AI. This is the plane where you got killed by the Chaik. <laughs> okay. Nix is telling me that the skin is free, yeah, also Kat was telling me. It's cool though, it's cool, I might go and get it if it's still available. Only for that version of the Key 61 or every version of the same version? Only one. And also it has time limit to redeem. Ah. I'll send you link where to get them. But yeah, there's no, uh, there's no available right uh, now. Ah, okay. So I'll have to keep my eye on it to get it. Well, okay, I guess if they make it hard, there won't be the flying advertisement for Trustmaster. They losing from it, not you me. Need, you, <laughs> need, you need to click the bell button so that you can't miss it. Because it has time limit uh -huh. to redeem the new skins. Okay, you see the contact low, I, I bet you do, to 11 o'clock. The thing is worth checking, I guess. Winner Supremacy in C2. Okay, that's a friendly territory objective, but I'll be checking this target first. We are against uh, US, Britain, and China. Okay. When you have China, basically you can find anything in terms of planes on the other side. They have uh, like half of the other nations' planes, including Japan, <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> it's farther than it looked. Looks big. Ah, and also more contacts to eleven o'clock. You're tracking them, I see now. Did you identify the other? To me it's still not clear what it might be. Well well I'll be joining him soon. That's a B formation. Take the destroy the bombers. Ah, Kat is typing in chat, okay. There's an NM NMY on the other thing. It's strong. Five kills, look at that. Ah, I'm okay. following a horse here. I just broke my wings. Shit. Wing overload crash. Ha! <laughs> Shit. Japanese plants. But I can still fly, what is this? Not for long, I suppose. Okay, I'm dead. Shit. What an inglorious outcome. Negative G, Japanese plants and all that. Just forgot about it. Huh. Stupid me. Okay, I'll go with the key 100, I guess, close to the objective. I'll try to cap at least. And it's not even the first time it happens. Just fly, bam, exploded. Shit. So, such delicate plants. Maybe I should reduce the joystick sensitivity or just don't be stupid. I know Ramos, yeah, but not only Armour, the very structure of them. 
I even fell before encountering man. I mean, just like that. It's not like I was doing anything crazy. I just pushed the stick forward, then bam, exploded. <sighs> I was saying just yesterday that I don't remember who was asking. I think it was Jens about the Japanese pen, and I said, "Well, but the zero is pretty resistant. Yeah, like shit, it is. <laughs> like shit." Also, yeah, maybe playing the Americans first and then switching to Japanese is not the best of synergies. Okay, well, at least I'll be close to the objective, I guess. It's already being captured, by the way. I best not advance from the base, or it might luck look very ugly very soon. <sighs> I hate it to die like that. I'm trying to climb a bit uh, before moving. We have the base defenders overhead. I blocked the wings, uh, Nix. You missed nodding. <laughs> I, I'm actually glad you missed. I was just flying the zero so peacefully. And yeah, actually, it never happened to me in the zero. I pushed the stick a bit uh, to, with too much conviction, but not, not exaggeratedly so. And yet, it broke in a thousand pieces. Yeah, I got ambushed but by my own idiocy. I got ambushed by myself in practice. So now I switch plane, our beloved key 100. There's an objective right by the base. The ace is weak. Okay, show him, show him your skill. Get it. Yeah, I already killed him. Ah, nice, nice. I am over there, field. I don't want to move from it because I got a climb. And uh, this looks like a possible base attacker, doesn't it? Yes, because it's also flashing. I might have a bomber on top of me. Let me see. Time to climb. What am I now? 1600. The enemy is winning. We must counterattack. Should check my six because yeah, enemy is here in any case. The fuck, what the fuck? Negative G, yeah, Nix. I just pu push the stick forward like that but it wasn't really anything there was no reason and uh, just a bit a bit just i was too fast doing it and well the plan is you know it but it's strange because it happened to me with the yabus i never happened with the zero in any case i haven't flown the japanese in some days and uh, it's also muscle memory no like with the american seller i was doing that like crazy diving pulling like uh, a madman. They never break, that's the difference right there. So, probably it was the wrong idea not to rewire my brain before switching to this. Now we want, I won't do the same, I suppose, twice in a row. Let's at least let the enemy score, no? Otherwise they might, uh, <laughs> they might be angry at me. So this idiot kills himself, and what are we supposed to do? If you are having problems with negative trees, just roll your pain inverted. I do it all the time, actually. Yeah, but in fact, I wasn't intercepting anything. Normally, for intercepting now, I tend to do that. I roll the plane and go inverted. And it works well, actually, for any national's planes, from what I've seen. Only problem is that I was doing nothing. I was flying straight and pushed the stick. Bam, exploded the plane. Okay, I think I have an enemy. No. It's, ah, this is Kane. Look at this. We have Kane in our team. Kane 79. Famous VR player flying the same thing as me. Actually, is very good. I saw him sometimes top of the scoreboard. He's strong. He's strong, no? Uh, I saw him stream on Twitch one day. He will be streaming even now. Maybe this is the enemy. Yes, this is the bomber that I spotted earlier. I don't know what it is, but it is indeed our enemy. But I best not approach like this. That would look very ugly. Okay, we have a bomber in the objective zone. Trying to come at it from an advantageous position. Possibly from the side and above. That's Kane, I hope, diving behind me. I hope. This guy is turning. Yeah, I guess he actually wants to attack with the gunner. Not impossible. Unfortunately, he's also faster than me. Possibly, Anix. Yeah, I think I was going fast. That's the, the fast zero, not the green one. Oh shit, he's hitting me all this way. And so far away. 
Still he manages to hit me. Do you have any idea what it might be, Nyx? I have no... No visual, I think. It's got a very distinct shape. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Many uh, shots, yeah. Not easy to... But it's going away, and I don't think it's worth pursuing it. It would look very bad if I did. No visible damage, luckily. That's not the kind of plane you approach with a Japanese unless you have a clear advantage of positioning, and I don't. B25, okay. Looks like Skane will be my competitor. In terms of points? Uh, no, uh, it's good, it's good. Yeah. He might uh, rob you of the first place, who knows, who knows. Let's see about that. <laughs> this will look interesting, I guess. I hope I can be in the competition as well, maybe once uh, I start actually doing something in this in this match. <laughs> it will happen, it will happen. It was a B25, okay, Nix, we now know it. Case in point, the B25 you don't approach very uh, lightly with a Japanese fighter. Not the best of ideas. And this must be Skane, but I'm not 100% sure. Let me check it. Yeah, yeah, you are applying the same thing as me. Is he diving on something? Apparently not. We'll be capturing, uh, I guess. It was just the B25 that was scoring for his team here. I don't remember which headset he used. Maybe Oculus if I will remember. I think we're in a, on an interception course for an enemy, yeah, because the base is flashing. Well, I will give him the honor to go first because if it's another bomber, same as before. Uh, let me try to anticipate the trajectory. He's coming at it from the back. That's not a B25, I guess. Okay, he's under attack. I might shoot as well then. Bit too long range, actually. He doesn't care, basically. Look at him. He's a daring pilot scan, huh? Approaching the bomber from below. Well, I guess I'm doing the same then. And, yeah, he's dead. Uh, and I will be dead as well if I follow. Actually, he killed the bomber too, though, huh? <laughs> that was a very Japanese thing to do. We just witnessed uh, Skane kamikaze himself toward the bomber, completely on fire, still shooting at it. Pe -pe -pe and that. Pretty cool. <laughs> Even the DK1, Nix, so all the headset. It would be prob possibly the CV1, the consumer version at least. The one you're speaking about is the pre-production model. But that was well executed, I would say, yeah? Not a very self-preserving approach, but he did kill the bomber. And also he disconnected. I guess it was his uh, final deal in the match. <laughs> he wanted to get all skill, no luck. Yeah, all skill, indeed. He knew very well what he was doing. That's not fun. He disconnected, man, I'm sorry. I witnessed something cool, though, huh? He, he disconnected with style. He self-combusted into the afterlife, basically. Bringing with himself the entire crew of the enemy bomber. It's what I tried to do yesterday with that big Swedish plane, but it didn't work. <laughs> I died and only damaged, but not killed the thing. Ah, I have to remember, yeah, negative G and all that. I was doing strange maneuvering, I best not with this plane. It is, after all, made of paper. We're capturing then, eh? yes, so it seems. Self-combustion, yeah, indeed. He turned into an inferno from the series. What's the title of the series? The one with the fireman warriors versus demons. I basically are people that are self-combusting and turning into demons. Last season. 
speaking about Tani Mena. I got three already. Nice, good kills, man. I know you're unstoppable on the Japanese tier three. I'm not nodding. Time to cap. <laughs> now I know. Now I know why Texas is in the top one because he was using a P61. Then I shot him down. <laughs> okay, good job, man. I see a couple contacts, maybe. Finally, I'll be able to join the action and the fun. Let me see. But we are capturing, so they will be friend, I think. In any case, worth checking out. Well, that looks like combat, actually. Let's see, eh? I might be able to join the party. Move after me. Hmm. Hmm, okay, key 43 A6M3, and I lost sight on the third one, but I guess they're turning into it. What the heck are we doing here? <laughs> and I'll show, wasn't there a third contact? Murasaki, oh, I know this guy, Murasaki. That was actually the pen name of an 11th century author, female author of the Genji. Monogatari, the shining prim prince of the Meiji. No, not the Meiji. What the fuck am I doing? Saying the Heike. The Hei. Oh, the Heian era. You see, my memory of Japanese history is impeded by the fact that I'm currently actually living Japanese history of a more recent type. The key 100 have three wing spars, Slit slightly stronger wing, I suppose. Ah, probably that's the reason. I've been flying it so often and uh, now I forgot how fragile the zero actually is. Okay, we captured the area at least. Well, finally I'll get the kill once I actually find the enemy, I hope. A couple of contacts over there. What the fuck? The what carcass. Happened? What happened? The carcass dropped in above me. The carcass What's the fall car above what? me. The carcass? Yeah, the carcass. The dead plane. Fall above me. Oh, damn it. That sucks, man. That sucks. I was surprised. <laughs> Suddenly got destroyed and fell on top of you. Yeah. What the hell, man? That sucks. What a way to die. Never. I don't think it ever happened to me. What's that big formation over there? I want some points. I want some kill. Protect the light. Destroy the enemy convoy. Protect the light attack. It's, uh, well, I might go there. They, it's not impossible I may come under attack. I'm very slightly damaged in an elevator when I came close to that bomber, but it has no visible damage, so should be okay. The wreck of the plane, yeah, no, no, I got it, Nix. Uh, I just didn't know because he was using the name of the plane, the carcass, and I didn't make the connection in my mind. Does this look like combat to you, Nix? Uh, I think it might. It might be. Yeah, I see tracers. No enemy base close by, which is also good. The surveillance aircraft is actually above one of our bases, and it's making deep flash, even. In practice, in a Japanese plane, you never push the stick, that's the thing. You want to go the other way, you turn, you roll the plane and pull it the other way. <laughs> that's the only thing that's gonna save you <laughs> on these things. Okay, this is definitely combat. They're attacking our ground attackers, so in theory he doesn't expect me. Let's try to take advantage of it. Uh, well, did I get it? No. 
Uh, Murasaki Wolfmus came in the middle while I was shooting. I hope I didn't damage it. <laughs> that was a, a very silly maneuver. I possibly he hadn't seen me. I guess it's possible. I'd love to check the chat <laughs> if he berates me. And yeah, he really, really wants the kill. We're ending it. We will probably crash into one another. But I shot first, what the fuck. We're really risking it, no? And he's dead, what the fuck. I think he was mine. I shot first and also saw it first. Yeah, you got him. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, I risk crushing into him, actually. But maybe I should say that he risked crushing into me because, as I said, I was shooting first. Yeah, Nix, that wasn't very professional, was it? But at least I got my first kill. I mean, I mean, what are you going to do with people that really want the thing? Will you let them have it? Well, it depends if you're in the right. If, if they are slow, kill it. Right. <laughs> ah, did he say anything in chat? No, apparently. He died, you still fired two bursts him. Ah, okay. He was already dead. Well, I wanted to see it go in pieces, I guess. I wanted to see it destroyed utterly. Once the enemy is down, keep hitting him. That's the Ender's Game way. Have you read the novel Ender's Game? The famous American flick. Well, I mean... Uh, the kind of ideology is not very, doesn't sit very right with me, but it's a cool story nonetheless. They made a movie with Harrison Ford. It's about uh, a kid going into the military in a futuristic space setting, and basically they teach him to have no mercy whatsoever in the context of a game, but maybe I should not uh, reveal to you the final twist, because not everything is at its scenes. It's a cool story, inspired a lot of games. I blew the pilot said, yeah. We're getting even more into science fiction territory. You die in the game, you die in real life. Imagine that. That would be quite immersive, no? You strap yourself. That's that's hard art online. Right, that's a cool story. I find it annoying that Japanese people that have such faith in VR as a medium and judging by the kind of anime they're producing right now, they certainly do, only play with consoles. And consoles, unfortunately, don't have the processing power to, to run VR at the time. So this is actually slowing down the development of the medium, because if, if VR was taking uh, uh, root in Japan, we would de definitely see something like Sword Art Online already. Well, not that. Actually, the Japan is doing the same thing. No, I'm speaking about Japan. Yeah, indeed. They firmly believe uh, in the future of uh, online VR MMOs more so than any other nation. But unfortunately, Japanese people don't play with PC as a rule. They just don't enjoy PC gaming as much as us. And uh, PlayStation 4, well, for what it is, uh, cannot do that. Perhaps uh, the 5 will. It seems they're doing a push just for that. I would expect the future of VR to come from Japan, but it has to pass through the uh, narrow confine of the console space, because pitching in there is basically ignored. I forget the writer's name, but he is a Mormon, and the crazy things they believe is reflected in his book. I know, man, so you know him. Yeah, of course, he's an American novelist. No, I read the book when I was at university. I personally, I enjoyed it a lot, uh, until I started thinking about the kind of ideas that he does. Basically, it's worse than Starship Troopers in that respect. Starship Troopers is another one that you read as a cool science fiction battle uh, nar narrative, no? I'm not speaking about the movie, of course. The movie is very different. The movie is satirical. I'm speaking about the novel. And it seems like a fun enough, enough thing, the kind of uh, space war that a kid might enjoy. But then when you think about the ideas, man, well, the ideas are pretty fucked up, and uh, Ender's Game even more so, perhaps. But Ender's Game is more subtle.
that's the annoying thing, no? While you read it, uh, you think, well, but this guy is absolutely right. If I were to face uh, uh, an evil uh, uh, space species intent on killing humanity, I would be the same. But then when you think about the implication of uh, speaking about something such in a modern setting, in our society, uh, the kind of ideas you're perpetuating, well, they're pretty... They give me anxiety, to say the least. I've spoken about it more than once also on my blog because it pertains to some areas that I very feel uh, I feel very strongly about, no? like the concept of teaching children, uh, of uh, um, propagating a certain idea. Excuse me, I'm interested in this thing. I'll keep uh, speaking about it once it's down, and it should be soon. Let me see. Yeah? Okay, it won't be living long. Okay, perpetuating this idea, no mercy, uh, betrayal is correct, uh, uh, being uh, inhuman is what makes us human and the like. Yeah, it's pretty anxious. Starship Troopers, yeah, I love it as well. I, I read that in high school, much sooner, much earlier, and I read it, if you can believe it, because uh, it was quoted in a famous uh, Italian comic, no? We have, uh, in Italy, a series of comic uh, series that are very popular. You might have heard of Dylan Dog, maybe it's the most famous, which is horror, as an horror setting. They all come from the same... Uh, editor, no? And they have uh, a science fiction series that I used to love. The, the drawings are especially good. It's got great art. I, I have a lot of these comic books. Uh, I read them all the time. It's named Nathan Never. And actually they had a series within the series, like uh, uh, multi-part stories that was uh, directly inspired by Starship Trooper. It's actually much more faithful to it than the movie. The movie, well, the movie was clearly made by a person that felt quite the opposite uh, to the ideas that were perpetuated there. I, uh, you are myself a diehard Tolkien fan. I love Tolkien as well. And to tell you the truth, I don't dislike the movies either, because, yeah, the movies are far from the spirits of the books. But in my opinion, do a good job of translating that kind uh, of style to the screen, because uh, you cannot really do... Uh, ancient mythology, which is the basis for the Lord of the Rings series, on the screen. It becomes very difficult to be completely faithful. So the changes they made, in my opinion, were well thought of. And also, yeah, can you imagine the... Most people are angry because they took out uh, Tom Bombadil, no? And similar series, Radagast, these kind of characters. I don't think they would have worked well on the, on the screen. They did the right thing. Also, the battles were hella cool. And... Uh, and strategically sound because the annoying thing is when you see this kind of fantasy cinematography or also the new TV series that they're making after the success of the uh, Game of Thrones uh, the battles suck they make no sense you see people behaving in a very unrealistic way uh, what is your favorite movie book? Uh, well, you're making, a, you're painting a really wide uh, uh, wide aspects of possibility let me think movie my favorite movie I would have to say Akira Kurosawa probably, but that's not fantasy. I would have to say some of the movies from Akira Kurosawa are probably my favorite. They also the reason I went and studied Japan, uh, Japan language and culture for a time at university. And uh, if I were to stay in the fantasy, can you uh, can you give us an example sentence? <laughs> an example uh, from ah Japanese. Uh, what are you? <laughs> ah yeah, the cat is on the table. Neko wa uh, teburu ni imas. How does it sound? Watashi wa heya ni ikimas. No man, I don't remember anything. I forgot everything basically. That's the thing with foreign languages, no? Uh, we had the, the written tests were especially evil because you had to study like uh, uh, 5,000 kanji. The, you know, no? The Japanese character. And then maybe they ask you 20 of these uh, at most. And if you, maybe you remember uh, 800, but you didn't remember these 20. Okay, repeat the test next time. <laughs> that was terrible. The Throne of Blood is great, man. Also, well, probably my favorite is the Seven Samurai because of the high adventure style and look. And uh, well, of course, uh, Toshiro Mifune is great in, in all of these movies, but there especially. Uh, I always like the, this word. Uh, related uh, Japanese historical movies. What's the name? Chambara, I think. Chambara is the general. I watched a lot of these. 
Uh, if I had to stick in the fantasy area, well, uh, probably that would be The Lord of the Rings. Science fiction... Uh, science fiction, I don't really... I don't have a very... a movie that I like especially. I read a lot of science fiction uh, when I was like in middle school, beginning of the high school age. And... Uh, yeah. Nothing really came close on the screen. They're not producing much that is worthy of note, in my opinion. Never liked. No, I did like Star Wars, but Star Wars is different. And now I don't like it no. anymore because basically they ruined it to hell, in my opinion. Ever since it was sold to Disney, it went into the ground. Star Trek uh, always seemed a bit too simple for me, uh, compared to the kind of novels that I was reading at the time. Nowadays, if I Nowadays. have to say, my favorite science fiction author, you might know it, you might know him, uh, now he's dead, unfortunately, Yane M. Banks, the culture series of novels. I really, really like them. Him and China Meville as well. China Meville is the writer of Perdido Street Station, the one about the mysterious creature that infests a city. It's amazing, very steampunk setting, mixes uh, magic and technology. I especially enjoy that author. I read the entire series. Three, all three books are very cool. Maybe the best is the second one, the one set at, uh, in the ocean, like in the floating city, uh, with human mutants that can swim and breath underwater. I like that one. You know them, and uh, they're pretty famous others. Ah, and also, yeah, how could I forget it? Uh, Neil Stevenson. Neil Stevenson, of, of course. Uh, Snow Crash, no? Snow Crash is pretty cool, but also the one he made recently, like, uh, there is one that I really loved, uh, wait, now I don't remember the title, uh, it's about a society based on a different interpretation of mathematics. It was, uh, I didn't understand very much the technological and uh, philosophical aspects of it, because uh, that would take uh, ages to really understand. Now I don't remember the title of the damn book. Uh, basically, well, I don't remember the details at all. It's like a religion, mathematics is a religion there. And also there is an alien species that invades Earth, because of course there would be, <laughs> there always is, <laughs> coming in a giant uh, cube starship. Now I don't remember the details. Is that Doctor Who? No, 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 completely different. It's much more modern. It's from an American science fiction author that also for a time intended to produce video games. I remember as a video that he made. He was sure he would be making a sword fighting video game, but then it never came out. It's a shame because he's got very vast knowledge of the Middle Ages uh, uh, warfare. He also wrote a series that was also that one I loved. It's not fantasy. It's named, basically, it's the Diamond Age, set in the Renaissance. And uh, it's high adventure, swashbuckling. Uh, they're constantly traveling all around the world. There's a section in Japan, but it's mostly set in France and England. And it also speaks about uh, the various scientists of the uh, Discovery Age, you know, no, it's a very really cool red. Some of these characters are especially memorable. Have you seen the movie Mishima? asks me Romulus. Uh, Mishima, I know the, the book author Mishima, the literary author. Maybe it's a movie about him. No, I haven't seen this movie in any case. I know Mishima. I even read some as part of my university curriculum. We had to study, maybe not his best book, uh, the one about... Uh, the period when he was frequenting gay bars, essentially, and he was discovering his uh, sexuality. <laughs> the fact that he was gay, basically. It's a big part of his character. He was uh, a pretty complex author, to say the least. Also, yeah, the way he died. I mean, you know Yukio Mishima, Kurt? Is uh, the Japanese author that firmly believed in uh, re returning to the year of the samurai, and basically, he died while trying uh, to to conquer an enemy. No, not an, a military base. He went there, basically, he committed seppuku after killing some officers there. I just read the Sea of... Is, is that a Ronin? No, no, in the modern age. The modern age, like uh, the 60s or something like that. Uh, he was a bit of a, f of a madman, uh, but also he wrote some very good books and poetry. It's a very important modern Japanese author. But he was uh, troubled, to say that he had a, different, a difficult personality. And he died uh, committing basically seppuku in the modern age. Also, the guy that was supposed to 
several his head after he disemboweled himself wasn't good at it, so actually he died in terrible agony. But I think he sort of wanted that. He was known also to be very strongly influenced by the figure of Saint Sebastian, no? the Christian saint that was martyred with a uh, hail of arrows, basically piercing his entire body. And there's a series of photographs that he had made with himself also, yeah, naked, strapped to a pole with uh, arrows uh, in, uh, in his body. Now, I don't know if he was real. Considering the kind of person he was, possibly he was also real. <laughs> he might have enjoyed it. Uh, but well, it's a very important outdoor. Important outdoors tend to be like that. They're a bit uh, off the normal scope uh, of human behavior, to say the least. He tried to start a revolt and felt so he killed himself, indeed. You read The Sea of Fertility. I haven't read that one. I haven't read that one, but I can't believe you when you say it's amazing. It's very good uh, uh, literary outdoor. Oh, this is an enemy. Look at this. We, we made a, I had, uh, in practice we had a series of exams on modern literature dealing with him. The, the teacher was a bit crazy. She had uh, an entire exam about uh, sexual m novels, basically model novels dealing with sex. So now I remember some of the names, let me think. There was one completely crazy about uh, a, a girl that basically had a penis in place of its uh, foot, uh, uh, in place of its, what's the name, of its thumb, the thumb of the right foot was a penis, basically, and she experienced sexuality through that. It's named the, the P-Thumb, that's the name of the book, actually, if you can believe it. Well, I still remember that because it was the craziest, but the others weren't much farther. Also, Banana Yoshimoto, which is the most famous one, I guess, but Banana Yoshimoto was staying compared to most of these. Uh, I knew another that I especially liked through that exam, uh, it's probably the most uh, famous modern Japanese author. No, I don't remember the freaking name. The one that wrote the Norwegian Woods. No, what the fuck is the name of that guy? Uh, also Kafka on the Shore. It's the inspiration for many video games, I think, because uh, he creates a sort of surreal landscapes and settings that seem to work very well. Like there is a... Uh, I don't know if you remember... Catherine, a game that came out for the PlayStation, no, not the greatest game, but the kind of atmosphere reminds me greatly of him. Haruki Murakami, yeah, remember. Ah, you know why I'm speaking about, yeah. Haruki Murakami, I've read a lot of novels. Like, there's a cycle about uh, uh, a second world uh, where people can migrate to where... Uh, there was a ship, no, I don't remember what the ship did. There were ships all over. I think it's named the cycle of ships. Also the bird that turns the screw of the world, something like that. Well, I read all three, now I don't remember almost anything on the plot, which maybe doesn't say much for them. But I remember feeling some affinity for the man, no? Like uh, in one of the introductions of his books, he was speaking about, uh, before becoming an author, he used to write about anything, basically. Every day he chose a topic and wrote about it, and it became sort of an automatic job for him. It's a bit like uh, what I do with my blog, basically. Everything is worthy of, uh, of not. Everything is worthy of... Uh, uh, what's the word? I miss English words to speak about these complex matters. Uh, it's worth speaking about, and well, maybe one day he'll turn like a literary author as well. Who knows? In theory, I might. I've been thinking about for many many days to write a book eventually. If I do write a book, uh, probably this experience with streaming will be a part of it. The kind of interactions we have here are very, very uh, conductive uh, to some kind of plot development or maybe even creating a story. Uh, there is a famous, another famous American author that actually wrote an entire fantasy series from his Dungeons and Dragons sessions. You might know him, uh, the author of the Malazan series. It's another of my favorites. Uh, what's his name? Erickson, maybe. I don't remember the name of the man. You will know perhaps Malazan. Malazan, they should make a book, uh, a movie about it, and possibly also games. It's an amazing setting. Amazing. Basically, it's a bit like Lord of the Rings, uh, but based on the ancient world instead, uh, rather than going uh, northern mythology, like uh, uh, medieval Renaissance and the like. You, you have the ancient Roman Empire, uh, the Persians. 
Name of the Wind, possibly. Okay, like crazy stuff. Have you seen any Tarkovsky films? No, unfortunately I haven't, man. No, I know the name of the author. I've heard him. But uh, yeah, recently I've not been watching many movies because of... Unluckily, I cannot manage to find the time, if you can't believe it. The more I play games, and now that I like VR so much, I play games a lot, actually. The less uh, I manage to find time for watching movies. I've been watching a lot of TV series. What about uh, movie games? <laughs> movie games, I <laughs> hate. I hate them 100%. Like, if I'm playing a game, I want 100% interaction. If you are can't scenes that I only have to watch, I'll get bored in uh, no time. Do you know the video game series Stark? Yes, and I enjoyed it very much. Uh, never tried with VR. It might work with VR, you know, because the kind of first-person shooter you can adapt them to VR. You're giving me a crazy idea. That might be worth your streaming, you know, if I can manage to make it work. I loved uh, Stalker. I hated Metro, which is the one that was successful, of course, because it's more like a movie game. But I cannot stand Metro. Like, the new one, I tried it briefly. I fell asleep. They're constantly talking and talking about things of no importance. Because, yeah, you can make a plot-driven game, but make the plot good if you have to, because uh, the plot of these games tend to suck 100%. And so, Stalker is much better because Stalker is all action. When, whenever I play games that has um, movie scenes on it, I skip it. <laughs> Me too, all the time, no? And then after a while you say, but then when I'm playing this, if I don't care about this story, and I stop playing. I had completely stopped playing, basically, until I discovered how much I enjoyed online competitive gaming. If it wasn't for that, probably I would no longer be a gamer by now. And then, yeah, VR changed everything, because, of course, for me, VR, basically, right now, there's nothing that exists uh, that even comes close to the experience of VR. What the fuck? Will this bomber die? <laughs> I unloaded my entire... I'm on it. Uh, shit, that's heavily armored. I think I destroyed the turret, so I can have another go at it. Apparently, I found the target. Is this an half empty match or what? I think I'm out of cannons, and also out of gun ammo, yeah. That's the amount of ordnance I fire at this thing, and it's still flying. I hope it won't be back to base. One engine is stopped, I saw the propeller. Tarkovsky made the film Stalker that started the World Series. Ah, I think I heard you about got it. I got him. Oh, good. That was a B-25. I wa no wonder he didn't die. So, yeah, I knew there was a movie, yeah. Now that you're telling me. Wasn't the movie for, for, me, for Metro? Was it for Stalk? But they're very similar stories in any case. Do they come from the same material? I don't know. Well, Metro is much worse as a game, in my opinion. The graphic is better, check but... Check six. Check six. Check six. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm turning. I have no ammo, basically, so trying to return to base, I guess. I can certainly outturn that thing, but I won't be able to fight it because I have no ammo. He's no longer following me. Seems not. Strange, though. Well, I'll try to escape, then. It's not like the base is so far. Not that you know of. Okay. So different sources now. I think I read only a fantasy novel from uh, Russia. R Russia. It was the one... Okay, the enemy is still uh, behind. Uh, the one... The Guardians of the Night is style. I don't remember absolutely the other. What the shit? This guy is still eating me. The Guardians of the Night was pretty cool. I think they made a movie from it. Ah, Cart is here. Okay, cover me. Oh, Guardians? The, the Guardians movie? You saw it. Uh, it's about... Uh, uh, basically, a team of... Uh, supernatural warriors that defend the city of yes, Moscow. Yes, yes, yes. You saw the movie? Yes. I, I only remember it's uh, a bit. It was a series. I read only the first novel, but I remember it was cool. I remember thinking it was cool, but also had the flair of that kind of novel. Uh, they call it the young adult genre, no? a bit like Harry Potter. I mean, they're cool, but they're not going to be much thought-provoking, which is less important for a movie. I can't believe it when you, say, when you say the movie was cool. It's very anime style in any case. It's got that kind of flair. I'm a fan of the ninja there. There was a ninja. I the remember almost nothing, to tell yeah. you the truth. What power did it the protagonist it. have? I remember the protagonist had some cool power, didn't he? Yeah, it has... The, uh, the Night it's Watch. Blade yeah. is like... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I think... 
Night Watch. The no, Night no. Watch. Not it's the one you're speaking about. No, the Night Watch is a different movie. That's ah, the, okay. Uh, there was another superhero movie from Russia. Maybe that's one, the one you're speaking about. I saw I saw an intro for that trailer. I remember. Uh, but the, it's a different one. The movie one. you're talking about is the... Uh, it says... The title is Guardians and then a Russian word. Okay. Romulus is telling me he could read the future. Man, you're a big fantasy fan then, like me. Lately, I haven't read any much. Uh, well, of course, since I started streaming, I wouldn't find the time. But I used to read a lot. I read a lot of these novels. Both fantasy and science fiction. Okay, I'm safely in the base, which isn't too bad, considering I was out of ammo and the like. You could see the future. Uh, it's a bit... Uh, also, yeah, it reminded me a bit of that... Uh, uh, Neil Gaiman series, no? They're now making a TV series out of it, uh, but it was originally and a book, uh, The American and Gods. Also, and also in that movie, there's a super tank. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's a different movie, I haven't seen it. I know what you're speaking about, I remember seeing the, tra the trailers, it's different. I mean, not a super tank, it's kind of like a, a drone that kills tanks, it's amazing. I can imagine. They, they it seemed to have good uh, special effects from what I remember. Okay, rolling. The TV series is bad, yeah, I agree. It's not uh, close to the spirit, not the style of the books. It has some good scenes, but doesn't really pay justice. The book was very cool. They changed a lot from the style of the book too. But the book, man, I loved it. I love most of the Neil Gaiman books that I read. Every um, thing that is started in books and translated into videos, um, the With fans stuff, prefer uh, the yeah. books. Yeah, no, no, I know. It will be different, and then it depends on the skill of the director <laughs> if it's actually. It's 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 because in videos it's cut, and sometimes it's not really um, ex explained in a. Like yeah, no, no, indeed. Books. You don't have the time, no, to uh, to develop the characters. Also, it's hard when you actually have to depict uh, some scenes. Maybe they play better in the mind of the author than when you have to actually realize them on screen. Yeah, I almost like it too, like the American Gods series, and uh, not the series, the book. Also, well, since we're speaking of that kind of outdoors, I especially love Roger Zelazny, the Amber series. I bet you know it. By the kind of books we've been speaking about, you will know the Roger Zelazny Amber series. That was like extreme fantasy. Like the culture series from Ian Bax is extreme science fiction. The Amber series from Roger Zelazny is extreme fantasy. Basically, where they travel between the worlds, uh, uh, like the protagonist has unlimited power, they're like gods, they're a family of gods that travel between worlds and they have to influence the... Uh, are you a Witcher fan? Uh, Witcher, I played the games but I haven't read the novels. The games are cool, I guess, but I don't like them because, yeah, they're movie games, case in point. Have you heard of Aragorn? Aragorn, yeah, he's the hero from the Lord of the Rings, no? One of the main characters. No, Aragorn. Ah, Aragon, like uh, a si Aragon. Ah, I've heard it. It's a fantasy series, right? I think. Eh? It's a book and a movie. Ah, Aragon with an E. I think it's from an Ita Ah, no, no, I know. Isn't that the one from the Italian author? Possibly. There was one similar that was written from an Italian author, but now that I think about it, no, it's not that. That was from a young uh, American author, maybe. I don't remember the name, though. Yeah, I've heard of it. The novels are terrible, Romulus, you're telling me. The Witcher novels, I guess. Well, I can imagine. I don't know, man. I haven't read them. I wouldn't say it lends to, to be a great story from what I've seen in the games. I mean, it's a cool game, but Monster Hunter is, is such an uh, overworked setting. I mean, okay, the guy is a Monster Hunter. What else? It ends there, I guess. Aragon is the one with the dragon. He's also bad. To tell you the truth, uh, I suspected the same, but I don't know how about it. Did you like it, Cart uh, uh, Aragon series? Yes, it's amazing. The movie, if, like, or the movie, the, uh, or the book? Um, the movie. The I, movie, I, I ah, okay. I don't have a copy of the book. 
best time I've I think Romulus <laughs> is speaking of the book, yeah. It's possible that the movie might be better. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it does. Well, about dragons, the first thing that comes to mind is uh, uh, the Dragon Riders of Pearl from the female Ador. Now I don't remember the name. I haven't read many of these novels because there's like 10,000 of them. It's a very long series. I think I read one where instead of the dragons, they were communicating with the dolphins of the planet where they lived. I don't remember the, the point of it, but actually there were dolphin riders <laughs> and the dolphins were very intelligent and, uh, and wizards. I was surprised. Huh? I was surprised that how to that how to train your dragon is also a book. How to train your dragon? I I watched it. The movie is fun. I liked it. It's got uh, good graphics too. It was a cool flick. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know it was from a book. It is. Ah, yeah. No, no. I know about it. It is. It is. And we and Romulus is telling me the Witcher novels are, are bad, but are worth reading if you like the games. Yeah, of course, it will give you more background information. I wonder if the games are uh, actually faithful to the books. Nowadays, it's much easier to find any book you might want to read, thanks to, to technology. It used to be, when I read a lot, that you went to the, uh, to the bookshop and whatever you found, you read. Now, basically, you can download anything. It's amazing. I don't understand people supposedly of great culture that say, but I hate the e-book culture because it ruins literature. What the heck are you speaking about? Do you like holding the book in your hand or do you like reading it? If you like reading it, you can read whatever you want in any moment. That completely transforms it, especially for the fantasy series, by the way. Yeah, because it used to be that uh, you read maybe a part of a series but never found the books to complete reading it. And now you will never have that problem. For me... Kindle and the like was a big revolution. I live uh, in the central part of Italy, the capital, uh, Rome, where still we don't have much virus, luckily, but it might get worse soon. I have two on my ass. I need help. Well, well, okay. Turning to you, I'm pretty high, so I will be able to get there soon. It's okay. a uh, mosquito and the people it is seven. I see your smoke and I see them. They're pretty far from you yet. Okay. Mosquito is easy to kill. Let me see. You're doing the red smoke, right? Okay. Wow, well, you you really react early. I usually don't even consider them into my tail at that distance. And that's the reason I felt so often. Okay, I see the one shooting, turning into the one that seems to be threatening you more. I'm diving for him. Maybe I'll prefire a bit in the hopes that he gets scared. Well, I might just fire at him at this point. I think I should get him. Okay. Damage? Is he dead? Yeah. Okay, dead already. Pilot snipe, even. Let me see where you now. To the right. Diving for the guy that's threatening you now. Okay, it's not on your tail right now. Huh? Ah, there's two though. Wait, no, one is. This is a friendly. Never mind. I think you already reversed the situation. But I'll still track him, of course. Mosquito. The mosquito, yeah. I can tell even from here. The mosquito is supposedly a ground attacker, right? It's an interceptor. Ah, okay. It's fast indeed. It's fast. Might be faster than me. Rome is nice. I'd spend a lot of time at the Vatican. <laughs> well, it's not so easy to enter the Vatican, actually. Eh? It's not like you just walk into it. You can go to the Vatican Museum, but uh, normally it's close to the public. Like, I've been there only a couple of times. Um, both were school trips. There was a pretty cool uh, school trip where they brought us uh, to see the Vatican Library, actually. They have some very ancient manuscripts. It's an enormous, uh, an enormous nexus of culture, basically. I don't think I'll catch this uh, mosquito. Guide on me. I know, man. It's disappointing, isn't it? No, I won't catch this mosquito. It's faster than me. Useless. Unless he turns or does something. Maybe I might try to, to bait him in total. 
No, it's completely useless. It will be calling for help and probably receiving it soon. I cannot catch this thing. <gasps> what is this above me? This is more interesting. B25? Look at that. I relented my pursuit and I found another possible target. Yeah, this is a big one. B25? Possibly. I'm coming at a bad angle though, because it was so much above. I live just across the river from DC, and DC has the largest library in the world. Ah, no, I know. I know, you you guys in America have it good in terms of museum. I always like the style of American museum too. How oh, kinda suck, to tell you the truth. Like, yeah, they have the art, but they don't have the intention of displaying it in a very engaging way. Oh, we're attacking together the same thing. Nice, uh, he's got no chance of survival. Trying to attack the wing, not eating it apparently. The fuck? You fucking die, man. <laughs> okay, I'm out of ammo. Will he die? I think so. Yeah. Was a well in town. What a hardy son of a bitch, to say the least. <laughs> yeah, it was a well in man, not a B25, you're right. Well, I'm out of ammo, got a resupply. We have the same score now. Ah, nice, nice, man. Okay. Pretty good. Too bad Skane left. That would have been a nice challenge to see if he could outscore us. Well, in well, it's another caster. He told us once we killed it. Okay, the base is clear, no danger in any direction. Let's return to base. I love this key 100, uh, it's a pretty cool play. Nix uh, told me about it, uh, and it's very enjoyable because it he turns well and also is powerful in weaponry. Like, uh, unlike the Regiane, for instance, which, yeah, turns like crazy, but it's got a shitty weaponry, for what I've experienced at least. Unfortunately, it seems like we will lose the match, despite our performance. Okay, the base is over there. At least we can see it now, unlike the previous battle. So this afternoon when I play DCS, I'll probably start by going online, because I hope the servers will be populated. But if I find nothing, uh, I'll go, I'll do ground runs with the A-10 and the KA R Russian helicopter. Because the other day, yeah, I discovered it's quite fun to stream them. Even if they're hard, the different tries, you can show various approach. Uh, it's a nice way of teaching also how to play that complex game, especially with the more realistic uh, crafts, like the a which is uh, simulated at a higher degree than the Russian planes, of course, because they had all the data on it. Such an engaging simulator. And after all, it's not like he runs too badly, eh? it's got uh, a bad reputation in that regard, but I think Sturmovic runs worse. This year actually is pretty decent in terms of VR performance. Okay, rolling real soon, coming to the runway. Easy peasy. And touchdown. A bit fast maybe. a light plane, like I pulled the stick a bit uh, to make it go nose up, I took off again even though I was already slowing down. Also typical with the Japanese. And okay. Uh, 
rearming. Still had color armor, it seems. No, I don't wear socks, Romulus. You you discover me. Uh, it used to be a running team with the stream, and everyone came to me and told me, why don't you wear socks? Well, actually, I never do. It's a well-ingrained habit of myself. It's always giving me trouble, to tell you the truth, even at the workplace. They always told me, you must wear socks, eh? like an order. And well, at that time, I actually did wear socks. And now I'm free. I'm free like the winner, and I can do whatever I please. And to answer, no, I don't feel cold to the feet, as a rule. Taking off again. I wonder if Kart is still in the air. I don't hear him. Okay. B4. Ah, you're right after me. Then I'll wait for you. Yeah, here he is. You need to do a video sometime in full pilot gear, scarf, leather, jacket and all. Well, that could be pretty cool, I guess. I was thinking about wearing something uh, that makes you easier to remember, not like some streamers do. Something on your head, I don't know, some accessory. But the fact that I have the VR on my head makes it harder. Like, uh, there is a streamer that I especially enjoy on Twitch that has a pirate team, no? I don't remember his name. I don't remember his name. Wear a special sock. Well, special socks, yeah, we play some them. I don't know, I do remember his name, Bark Black, you might know him, he's very popular, he plays strategy games mostly, which I also enjoy. And he's got a running pi pirate team, no? He wears the pirate bandana, sometimes has even the hat, he drinks his water from a pirate mug, he's pretty cool and entertaining to watch. I also like the guy's style. He's very laid back, a bit maybe like me. And yeah, I might do. Maybe the scarf. The scarf would work. Problem is that I would have to do it soon because now, very soon, it will be hot in Italy. It won't be winter for much longer. And yeah, to wear the scarf then while already having this pizza oven of a headset on your eyes wouldn't help too much. The, the headset generates a lot of heat. Like if I put my hand here now, I can feel it. But it's manageable. Once you start to have higher temperature in the room, uh, well, probably you will see me no longer play VR games because it becomes impossible, to say the least. That's how hot it is. You need a, like a plate of pasta or something. Well, that would be running with the Italian team, yeah. Not very much with the Aviation 1, though. Huh? <laughs> that would be maybe paying too much attention to stereotypes of my nation. It could work, but depending on the public, it might be also annoying. I will go more the pilot route. Like, I had the, the coolest uh, pilot goggles that I used to wear when I went uh, around with my scooter in Rome. And I still have them, I think, in a drawer. That would be cool to wear, but how can you wear goggles when you're already using VR, you see? <laughs> and also, yeah, I like the aviation hat, so it would be easier to go with the scarf, probably. Like the cap that pilots used to wear, I don't have it. Guide on me. Or I could just wear a coronavirus mask, I guess. Since the the age seems to require it. What are these? Friends or enemies? Well, I'm tracking one in any case. Friends. Check six. No, this one? Okay, friend. Check six. Six. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, I see it. Turning into it is far, luckily very perceptive compared to me to things that are still far what are these traces? ah ok, coming from the ground, scare me shitless I thought I had someone on my tail but actually they were traces coming from the ground 
And this guy is thriving and is thriving friendly, I think. These are the tracers from the ground, I don't care about them. Luckily they have shit aim. B7A. No. Friendly, friendly, friendly. I think uh, the battle is ours. Ah, there's a, an air objective has come up. Okay. And a Chianti bottle. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe one day. <coughs> that could make for a cool scenario. Although, personally, I wouldn't risk uh, drinking uh, wine while I'm wearing a headset. Because uh, I risk uh, spilling it. <laughs> Maybe on the computer, even. This wouldn't be the best position to do it. So yeah, once I start streaming something without VR, possibly. I'm very tempted to do it at the end of the month, to tell you the truth. Because uh, Mountain Blend is coming out, a game I've been waiting for forever. And not to stream it seems like a waste, but potentially I might end up streaming it in VR actually, because I have ways to play games that weren't made for VR with it. And it often improves the experience. So maybe as a trust. Like in the first days of the stream, I here on Facebook, I started playing Red Dead Redemption in VR. I was the only one doing it. For a time, it gave me a lot of viewers because there were like two people in the entire internet playing Red Dead Redemption VR in VR. I mean, Red Dead Redemption 2 in VR. There were two people, me and another guy, very much more popular oh than me. But then I got bored of it because basically, yeah, this is what I like the most. Red Dead Redemption, I mean, it's fine. A cart is under attack. Okay, coming back then. I was going to the objective. Okay, I see the ballot. Thank you for calling location. That's where you and I differ. I can't play sober. Even man. No. <laughs> no, personally, I don't drink much alcohol. Never did. Sometimes, maybe. Can be enjoyable with friends, mostly. When you're with friends. Tell you the, the truth, I don't, uh, as an Italian, maybe I'm a bit of a trader because I don't especially enjoy wine. I'd rather drink either beer or maybe something stronger than wine. Like liquors and such. This I enjoy. Oh shit! Six, six. I know! Shit, shit, shit. Ah, it's a twin fuselage plane. What the heck is that? Turning, turning. Ah, I'm on fire. Yeah, I can turn all the way to hell, basically. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I loved Red Dead, but soon after playing it, I realized that I was just using it as a hunting simulator. Well, I guess that's fine. It's part of the game, after all. It's pretty cool as that, as a hunting simulator. Especially the second episode. I'll go with the zero at this point. Now wait, I've almost never flown this. I unlocked the Key 43 version 3 Otsu and never flown it. Let me try it. This will be a very nimble light fighter with two cannons. Ah, it's the cannon Sayabusa, basically. Well, I want to test it. Let's see how it performs. Respawning in beta 4. I'm a wine expert by profession, even man, wow. But my everyday drink is German beer. Ha, <laughs> that's good. German beer is excellent, to say the least. As I said, I'm not much of a connoisseur myself. But I do enjoy drinking from time to time. Yeah, in India, lately, uh, craft beer is all the rage. Like, a lot of sh little shops and stores are opening that import uh, the thing from all over Europe. And uh, here they make really big money. It's a very successful business endeavor. Well, not now. With the coronavirus spreading, of course, everything is closed. The small businesses are suffering the most. Taking off. You're still in combat. Okay, I'll be coming then. Mosquito and P38. Ah, the same thing. Okay, uh, I'm coming from the north. Unfortunately, it will take a while for me to rejoin. Ah, the gloves also. Yeah, I have a pair of gloves that is just like this one on the pilot's hand. I could wear this. With the gloves, I could play. Okay, about 10 kilometers from your location. 
I have to remember not to push the stick ever because this will break like the other plane, even worse possibly. Yabuza is very delicate. Half a square distance, I think. I'm gonna get the Rising Sun head scarf. Ah, the one with the Japanese battle flag, basically. I guess uh, it's not too hard to find. It used to be. You used to see the flag very often. Uh, I remember there was a line of jackets that everyone used to wear when I was in school and. It had the Japanese battle flag on it for some reason. I don't know why. Most people don't understand the implication of wearing such a flag, by the way. They just think, ah, Japan, cool. We already had plenty of weirdos back then. Because basically, when you look back uh, in Italian history of entertainment, no? Like in the 80s, 90s, uh, everything people watching TV were Japanese anime all the time. We were basically brought up with it. So now you have a generation of 30-year-olds and uh, maybe even older than that, like me, slightly older, and they all were brought up with Japan, first and foremost. Japanese culture is a bit ingrained into our own. It's a strange thing of modern globalization, no? like normally, why would ja uh, Italy and Japan be similar? Because of the anime cartoons, basically. Also, here in Italy, no, we have uh, the tradition, like many European countries, of actually uh, dubbing uh, things, no? like we have uh, people that uh, do the voices for movies that are foreign, so there's a big tradition for that. And the Italian adaptation for this uh, anime tend to be some of the best in the world, actually. They're very famous for that. Okay, you're still in combat, I think. Eh? You're turning to the left right now. Let me see. You're following him. Okay, watch out because the other is aligned to you. Eh? He's coming to you, he's coming to you. I'm diving. You turned, well, well done. He's after you still. Eh? Okay. Another one I will consider dead. I hope he is. I'm now going for this guy. This is the mosquito, I think. Okay. Let's see these cannons of mine, if they work well. I think I have the range to it. Oh, it will be faster. I gotta shoot soon. And I hit him. Yeah. Because cannons have a long range, by definition. And yes, I'm also hella light, so climbing like that is not going to help you, actually. <laughs> Look at him. He did the completely wrong thing. Okay, dead. I'll see you later. Okay, it's 5 a.m. Yeah, go sleep, man. Anime influence is a major subject. I agree, Ramos. See you later. See you tomorrow, I guess, because, uh, yeah, it will be early morning in your place when I stream again. Oh. Well, it wouldn't be early morning, I guess, if it's 5 a.m. now, but you will be sleeping. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. No, uh, you're welcome, of course. Of course you are. Okay, you're going to resupply. I don't need it yet. Heading for A, I guess. Roger. <laughs> you tried to escape uh, an Hayabusa by climbing with a mosquito, I mean. He really was asking for it. Should have escaped down low. Do I hear an engine? The rolling of this plane is so fast it's almost scary. Like, look at this. Wow! I just touched the joystick and wow! It's scary with my brake actually, being Japanese and thus very fragile. But it's crazy. You feel like uh, 
I don't know if a Naruto metaphor would be appropriate, but you feel like Rock Lee when he removes the training weights, basically, on Yabusa. You become lightning fast. Naruto analogy. I wish they were more accepted also in school jobs, school works. Can be useful for m making a point. Okay, I see no specific enemies. Not likely that. Doesn't look like the point is contested right now. Let me see if I'm capturing. Not yet, apparently. Am I capturing? Yes. Okay, this will be mine, I guess. I do hear an engine though. Huh? Let's keep hidden in the clouds. Just to be sure. I think I'm doing a good grind with the Japanese planes right now. This is the top rank I've reached. I would probably be unlocking something out of this. I don't remember what was I researching, but probably another fighter. In terms of credits, it's possible that I won't be able to buy much. You never know. zone actually but yeah why wouldn't you want to intercept this ah excuse me Nix I hadn't seen your message how is it going sorry I've been busy busy pretty good we're first and second like the other day we have six kills cart has seven and an assist pretty good indeed I would say it's a bit of a slow match but we've been having good dog fights all over and unfortunately yeah we're losing as always yeah, because you win the fights, but they keep spamming the bombers and the usual outcome. This is actually cut. I think I saw a yellow plane. Yeah, yeah, it's him. Uh, okay, let's go cap then. I actually left the captured zone. And this will end unless we capture, I think. Check six. Ooh. I cannot turn anything with this. Let's keep doing it. I have a few leak. What the fuck? He hit me. Who did? Stealth ammo, I think. I didn't even notice. Oh shit, I'm on fire. I heard no sound. This makes no sense. I had no sound effects. No tracers, nothing. I just suddenly was damaged and died. So that's another reason to go for stealth ammo, I guess. What the fuck? It's just like Nick said. When they shoot you with Nick stealth ammo, you have no chance of reacting whatsoever. Especially if the stupid game doesn't play even the sound of you being hit. I never try to fight Japan with American plane in the near future. Might be interesting, man, you know, because uh, I used to suffer with it, but now I understand the Mustang much better. It might be actually an interesting uh, uh, test of growth, no? To see if actually now I can do it. Because uh, I have several ideas very clear on how I could now fight the Japanese with a Mustang. 
and it used to be that I absolutely didn't know even how to approach them. Indeed, man, whenever you want, you tell me, I'll be there. No, but the stupid thing is that he didn't play the sound. I mean, I'm being hit, uh, I should at least hear a sound of the wings being hit. What the fuck? That's annoying. Um, I'm, I'm yeah. investigating the guy who killed you. Because uh -huh. he has mosquito earlier, and now he has Chinese Kai-61. So I'm checking the tech tree if China has mosquito. You th you're thinking it's a bit suspect here? Yeah? Suspect, yeah. Yeah, it looks. Uh, if China didn't have mosquito, then I'll call. I'll report him as cheating. Oh, interesting, interesting. Well, the fact that he hit me without any kind of uh, notice is strange for sure. I don't know. I'm always a bit suspectful of everything out of the norm myself, so I wouldn't say no outright. Couldn't he be a premium mosquito? Well, no, he would have to be still Chinese. But Nix is telling me that the missing sound could be a bug uh, since the last four patches. Okay, it does. Uh, China has mosquito. Mm. Okay, but we will keep an eye on him. Find the zero now. What's his name? The one that killed me? Simon. Ah, mm -hmm. he was yesterday, he was in the ma in the game also yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. And he was scoring very well back then as well. Simon Sko from Sweden. Ah, you have to remember not to break the plane. I did it again, I was pushing the stick. No, never do it on Japanese plane unless absolutely necessary. Or if you do it, do it very slowly. Okay, I'm checking a target here, flying low. Let me see if it's possibly an enemy. This is the fast zero, I should be able to catch him soon. So, the mosquito guy... If, if, if you don't like your wings break, fly the first A6M3. That's the A6M3 of Savoros flying. Ah, it's more resistant. Interesting. He flew only one model, I don't remember. I read the book, I read this board diary, but I don't remember the details. Also, I didn't know much about World War II planes at the time. So he mainly flew that model. I should probably read it again now. I could even find some inspiration for War Thunder. I remember he was very accurate in his the description of combat. Samurai was the title of the book. <laughs> what a title for it. I think I killed this guy. It seems so. Yeah, going down. Let's see if he hits the bridge. No, I won't hit the bridge. It was a tempest, even. Wow. But that was a player also, he was flying like a bot. Low altitude, low speed, doing who knows what. What's that? Possible other target? Hmm. Let me see, if it's an enemy, he would be heading for the ground troops, I guess. It's not impossible. Okay, Kart is in combat to my right. Coming. Coming, coming. I see you. You're diving. I think so. You're diving and then the enemy will be the one behind. Ooh, I'm pushing the stick. I gotta be careful with it. Okay, this is certainly cart, I can see the color. 
I think the one above is diving for you very soon. He's trying to get into alignment. Looks like uh, if this were a single player game, he would have a process bar on top of his head saying the percentage of uh, <laughs> the state of readiness and you will soon dive. Okay, I don't care for him. I'm coming after the one that's threatening you. I'm right behind you guys. Now he's leaving your six. Yeah. Trying to follow but not doing a perfect job of it. I don't think he can actually follow your plan. Yeah, yeah, you managed to shake him off even before I got there. And I certainly damaged it, but it's still flying. No, I don't know, he might go down. Looks like another Tempest. Ooh, you're under attack. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Okay, turning. Turning, 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 turning. That one has went down. And you're already on the six of the other. Look at that, look at that. You got it. Okay. Did I have the ashes? No, not even. Oh, but I hit it. Okay. That's a lightning, I think. Yeah, lightning. Lightning in a turn combat against two Japanese. How long will it live, do you reckon? Two minutes at most. Two minutes is a tall order. Maybe 30 seconds more like it. <laughs> you, you don't know what you got yourself into. Okay, shooting. I do know because I've been on the receiving end of it. Unfortunately, this guy has got the right idea. He's extending and escaping. Looks difficult to tell you that we're not catch him now. He knows what's good for him, unfortunately. Trying to shoot a long range. Maybe that will bait him. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. He's actually turning. Let's keep scaring him, yeah. I'm doing the same thing. It was it, by someone. Two minutes is too generous. Eh, but this guy knows what he's doing, look at him. He's a, oh no, I saved by the bell, this sucks, man. He got saved by the bell. Very unfair, very unfair. Lucky guy. <laughs> Lucky guy, 100%. Ah, Nix was saying something about the mosquito. I think the Chinese never received the mosquito. Because the mosquito, as far as I remember, only saw action in Europe and late war. I know, man, you hate the Chinese uh, Tech 3, unfortunately. It's the way the game is conceived. Very little. I need to go now. Okay. Good fight, man. Good yeah. team thank you, thank you. you. I enjoyed. Same Let's play again, man. See you next, uh, next time. And thank you for coming, of course. Okay, that guy got saved by the bell. Uh, let me see. One thing I want to see is if I can power this plant's crew. Apparently not. No, because at this point I will go for G-Tolerance and not yet have it. Let me try the SM91. We will have an open match, I hope. 2.3, 3.3. Hey guys, you can't play, you can't. The update is right now. The update is coming? Woo! Really, man? It's already updating. It's updating I can't, right now. I can't change my crew. I can't change my crew. Let me see. It says new update available. Let me see. Really? Nah, then we're playing... Well, then we're playing the update game later, maybe. I was thinking of going with this yes, but then I'll go with this again. If the update is on. Let me see. Uh, War Thunder, what is the official this one page? Let me see what they say. War Thunder Major update. Viking Fury coming really soon. Okay, but doesn't say anything particular. Let me see War Thunder announcements. Uh, on the news, yes, would be this. Hey, Zarlac, check my Discord. I mentioned you. Ah, you did. Thank you, man. Wait, I'm looking at the Planet Technical Works, 16-3-2020, on the 16th of March, 8 GMT. The server will not be available. Ah, that's the reason many people disconnected, actually. So, GMT time is now 9.15. It's been actually updating for an hour now. Ha! <laughs> Can you imagine? Yes, we it's, uh, it's a change log. Plan technical works. But it's the big patch, I hope. Yeah, it's preparing to patch right now. Checking your Discord. Uh, you mean that she's a squadron Discord, right? Discord, right? Yeah, it's because I put a War Thunder bot in there, so every news we are always updated. 
Which page should I look at? General? General. War Thunder related. War Thunder related. War Thunder. Ah, here it is. Let me see. Should I go down? Okay, Azarlock, you mentioned me. Ah, War Thunder changelock. War Thunder Viking Fury changelock. The, Vic the Vikings have landed. Now they are furious. The anticipated Swedish ground forces research tree is here. Viking Fury brings over 50 new vehicles, man. That's how it is. Let me see if they did anything with VR. Questo link and mascherano. Okay, here it is. Ah, these are the ground vehicles. Oh, of course, they added the tank I was speaking about. It's this one, I think. The one that is flat. No, this is another one. But it will be there. Also, the Italian Centauro. The dragon that everyone wants. Well, let me see. If I can join another match, I will. Otherwise, I guess uh, this ends Bye, our man. session. Bye bye. See you soon. If I can join another match, I will. If it's already updating, I won't be able to. But apparently... Okay, battle starts in one minute. The Viking has landed, yeah. Guys, I'm going for a very short break. It's going to take one minute to join anyway. And this should start. And we should play. I will be finally able to play the Savoia Marchetti. Be right back. 30 seconds at most. Here we are. Connection error. Net protocol version mismatch. Okay. It's already in the game, the Swedish tank you said earlier. Ah, okay. I don't think we can play then. I think this is over. You should change your name, name to Xarlok. It's not that I dislike Abagu, but for a bit of sync to the stream, no? Yeah, but it costs money, doesn't it? I don't want to spend money. <laughs> Abagu is good enough. I think we won't be able to play them. You know that one of my secondary nicknames actually is Xalagom, so it would be an in-between. Zarlok and Xalagom together. Xalagom is actually the name of a medicine. Eye drops. I'm a relative of mine uses. I like the name and thus I started using it. I also known as Zarbelok. It's all variations on the team. And maybe sometimes I use Abazong. <laughs> It's all like that. <laughs> it's all like that, man. All the in-betweens are taken. Shit, it seems I won't be able to play after all. But this won't start in any case with so few people. Let's try to join another, but I think it's gonna be difficult. Even though, I mean, people are playing, right? People are playing right now. Then why wouldn't I be able to? Let me try... Let's go for something different, just... Uh, 3.7 Russian, I haven't played in a while. Battle of Moscow, not joinable, 2.3, new blade is available, please apply the game via the launcher. You gain GI booster for name change. <laughs> ah, the one that gives you the golden eagles, yeah. 
Yes, I think we're screwed. I cannot play. <laughs> Unfortunately, the server is down. Yeah, it's like it's like Kurt said. Well, I guess we ended the stream a bit sooner. Luckily, I managed to do most of it. We managed to play. It was pretty good after all, considering it was going to hit with the updates so soon. I wish to fly my new Italian plane. Can I at least go in test flight? I wish to fly this. <laughs> I can do test flight. Let's do the rest of the stream only test flight. <laughs> so, Nix, how's this thing? You told me you flew it for the first time. It looks much more nimble than you would think. This is what I wanted to fly today, by the way. And by the looks of it, I won't be doing it very soon because next time we're gonna grind the Swedish tech tree. Uh, it's about time, no? Yeah, till next time, indeed. This afternoon, this afternoon, uh, well, it, the servers will be still down, I guess. Probably I'll play DCS. I'll play DCS. I wanted to do it for some days, actually. But then there was always someone else to play with, uh, and uh, I ended up with other games. But DCS is cool. Ah, you're right, isn't it? How tall it is. Strange, though. But it ain't right. I enjoyed so much the prospect of finally flying this, and then, uh, yeah. As always, you expect that here, you never find. Look how it climbs, I mean, for me it's such a big thing. <laughs> He's speaking Italian, rightly so. Say no more. No, no, I won't say anything more. Look at this. They could at least give us targets in this mod to shoot at. We have the ships, I guess. <coughs> We could strafe the ships. Ah, this is cool. Fast freno. That's the pressure of the brakes. The pressure of the brakes on this. Freno, it says. There is target. Where? The ships. No, the ships are friendly. Can we go and play? Ah, there are. Okay, let me see the effects of these weapons. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Maybe we can go to custom matches. Is it possible that they might work? <laughs> Friendly bombers, yeah. They're targets in a way. Let me see if I can join a custom match. This don't require the master server, possibly. What an idea, rather than ending too soon. Go to battle? <laughs> I managed! Let's play a modded battle, yeah. Not gonna be fun, maybe. Something out of the left field. Well, it's not in something. I can fly it here. Have you seen it? Come on. Oh, shit. No, but I have the arcade controls. It's controls with the mouse. What the fuck is this? Half with the mouse and half with the... No, <laughs> it's fucking unplayable. Wait. Uh, it would be... I don't know. View. Okay. It's like arcade mod, though you have uh, people with mouse controls and not so all the labels and such. I mean, what the fuck can you do at this point? Cardboard mouse. These are all addicted like me that basically went was booted by the game because of the update. And now what can they do? All it is. I think my gunner is shooting right now. Ooh, I just attacked the... <laughs> Nick, did I just go for a, an NTR? Put some more model. Press a button. Mm, full, uh, full control. Shoot anything red. Yeah. I will try. An I-16, look at this. What's that for anachronism? I know that NTR will kill me again, because uh, that guy is, flying an, uh, is driving an NTR.
Ah, you even have the assist for this. Well, we can kill and make I-16, I hope. Yeah! You fucking die! It's a cool plan. I like it already. I'm sure we will enjoy it once the game, the real game is back. The fuck is that? That's a much more modern thing, I think. It would be a cool map to play. Tunguska. It would be a cool map to play in simulation mode with the big hairball like that. They should have a mod that's like arcade, but everyone with simulation controls and respawn. Imagine that. Like the deathmatch mod from arcade, but you can play it uh, with realistic controls. That would be fun in a way. Boo! Got killed by ZPRK2S6. What the fuck is that? French fighter. Okay. Cardboard mouse. I guess this calls for extreme measures. Let's bring in the... That I have uh, the cool region here. Ah, no, because that's rank 4. I started with the lineup, uh, with the rank 3 lineup. Yes, and currently the only person that manages to stay in War Thunder streaming despite the fact that he went offline. We're playing the custom match, all we can do, I suppose. All the truly addicted remain, and they will be skilled. And this is a custom match, so they will also have uh, anachronistic planes. Critical hit. Nice. I okay, got already two kids against people with mouse controls. It's over when I decide it is. Okay, servers down, I play custom matches. Okay, got that kill. Yeah, and they got another. That's a KW1. The Red Chan is a cool boy, isn't it? Yeah, wow! I don't know this map. No, I think it's just for the custom mod. They play it uh, all the time, like 24 hours. I used to go to this mod only to test my controls, basically. It's very good for it. Because uh, you can see the effectiveness of the controls in combat. Instead of, But the flight model, of course, is uh, not simulation. It's a simplified flight model. Good for everyone. Yeah, what's he doing with the Bible? What the fuck is this? <laughs> James would hate this mod. Always looking for the historical accuracy. Looks like the map of every fools of the UFO. It's possible. I see research in this Brajani. Which version was it? This is not... No, it's a Maki, C205. Also, you have something strange going on with the controller. Look at the stick. Look what it does. I don't know what the stick is doing, but it works. Possibly because the mouse is still having some authority. No. Ma? MB174. What is that? Also, how do I lock a target? Good, uh, good question. Maybe right mouse button. Because if it's arcade mode, you should lock the target. No, I don't know how. Why well, we don't need it? I wouldn't fight this low in simulation, but this is arcade. I don't basically don't care. Ah, it is poor. What the fuck? Wanking the sticks. Yeah. Well, but I might end up a bit early to play this for another half an hour. Would be a bit silly to tell you the truth. Yeah! He didn't die though. Even attacking the submarines. Well, that's just too juicy to let it slide.
Go for it. You won't be able to escape me. Uh, the leading, the leading target is cheating, really. How the fuck can he escape like that? Ah, it's the structure. I should turn it off, maybe. Let me see. Where is my moist panther? What the fuck happened? I lost priority on the window. Shit! Shit! I minimized the game. What the fuck? Did I manage to do it? I'm crashing, yeah. But I wish I knew why. Can I now click the window at least? Virtually struggle. Let me see if you're right. How to trim? No. How's this one, Nix? I know nothing about this one. I locked it on the, my way to the SM. I never flew it. P108A Series 2. Ooh, is that big? They have bombs. Doesn't look like. Wow. Italians are that big of a plane. Three turrets behind. Ah, it's the one with the tank gun, right. By the firing speed, it's the one with the tank gun, yeah. Oh shit. I'm shooting a biplane with a tank gun. <laughs> and got plenty of turrets too. The structure will stop you from disabling. The modeling of the cockpit of this plane sucks so much that you actually don't even have an animated stick, so we won't know if I still have the bug, I guess. So, what about this? Is it good? I should shoot tanks with it since it's got a tank gun, I guess. We have plenty here. Let me turn into a tank. Let's not fight a tank already. Well, it would be a bit sm small caliber for a tank, I guess. Shit. Last attempt. Almost! Came so freaking close! Yeah, it sucks. 75 millimeters. Yeah, it would be a small caliber tank gun, but still, uh, I guess pretty effective. Well, I won't be able to shoot that guy now, we went into the hangar. Maybe the ship could be a target for it. The ship seems already damaged. Pa! Splash! Pa! Hit! Pa! Hit! I'm doing nothing to it. Well, nothing maybe strong of a word, but yeah, not much. It's a tank killer. <laughs> Look at that Nyx, what the heck is supposed to represent? What the heck is this? What the heck is this? <laughs> Who made this map? Oh shit, it's a panoramic wheel. Huh. Let's raise my wing a bit. It's big enough to kill World War II tanks. Let's have another go at it then. It's the famous panoramic wheel on the beach. Huh? On top of a huge platform over a hill. Famous uh, features of World War II landscape. <laughs> I don't know, man. Come on, what the fuck? Okay. I want to hit a tank with this thing, then I'll call it a day. I definitely never seen this map, no! <laughs> definitely. <laughs> uh, but all the tanks are uh, uh, indoor. I can shoot a tank, but it's indoor. Jack McCook. Oh, 
I know, I know, I'm not used to it. I actually never played battles where you have both tanks and planes. Well, except for the tank planes where the arcade one that lets you spawn the plane. Boom! I just crashed into a Bible. And this is apparently not good for the big Italian bomber, yeah? Well, if no one is spawning a tank, we won't be able to do it now. No, but apparently one has spawned. Okay, it's a bit too late to leave the plane. Maybe a last try, a last try before I end the stream. Whistling sound, I heard it earlier, I don't know. Probably related to the strange game mode, I have no idea to tell you the truth. Here's the stupid bike that killed me by crashing into me. Go with the turret. Shit, man, I'm liking this plane. I might fly it in a simulation mode, you know. I might fly this Among Us thing. That would make a cool... Woo! Oops! <laughs> that would make a cool team with Carlos Bombers to go with this. Another go? Shit, what the fuck? Another go. <laughs> Combat flats out. Lower the throttle. I came closer the first time, to tell you the truth. The problem is that it's so easy for them to hide behind the, the, the house. Just a bad positioning all around. <laughs> he wanted to be the barn stormer, but he was instead stormed by the barn. I wish to hit a tank, but the tank apparently don't cooperate. Ah, here it is. One very nicely in the open. Okay, go wide angle. It's become a challenge now. So, slow down, lower the flats, go wide angle. Go wide angle, I don't really know what you mean. Also, this aiming inside kinda sucks actually to do that. Now let's try, sure, why not? Ah, someone is interfering. Don't you see I'm busy, man? I hit it. I hit it, but I didn't get it. Now I'll crash into him. Well, that will kill him, nonetheless. I didn't. <laughs> A stupid bike that killed me. Okay, no man, I don't want to keep playing this arcade shit. Okay. Well, the game has updated, so we're ending a bit earlier, but not by much, I guess. Guys, in the afternoon, in the afternoon I'll be playing DCS. Also because this will still be down, I guess. DCS with the F-18 and potentially Russian planes and maybe even the helicopter and A-10. Who knows? So if you enjoy modern aviation, be sure not to miss it. And tomorrow morning, I guess, we'll go with the new update. It will be fun, I bet. Going to grind this, the Swedish heart and see what they have to offer. See you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.